Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast. We are here. We're live. With a bunch of lovely ladies. Let's get into the show. Let's go. All the night is my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to serious. leave? Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's my dream. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. So some quick announcements, guys. We got number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit. Get all the behind the scenes crazy content over there, okay? To include Frank Castles, Zoom calls, exclusive videos that we record and send back to you guys at the $50 tier. And we opened it up. We got a $5, $10, and $20 tier. So, you know, if you just want to support or, you know, you don't have money like that, it's fine. You can support us at any tier that you want and you get access to a bunch of content. And we're also going to do one monthly live stream for Patreon only, uh, probably going to do one here in the next week or so. And, and uh, once we hit 1,000 patrons, we're going to have a Zoom call. And all the extra content we can't put on YouTube is oh, on yeah. Patreon Facts. so you can see it behind the scenes. Facts. Facts. Um, and no, we are not banging girls on Patreon. I know you guys want that, but nah, it's not going to happen. Okay? No OnlyFans either, bro. Yeah, no OnlyFans either. I thought about it, but then I realized that nah, probably wouldn't bro. be a good move. Yeah. <laughs> we need Adam 22 for no jumper. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it, man. Shout out to our boy Adam 22. Shout out to Adam, man. I uh, mean, oh, no, never mind. Yeah, Chris, Chris <laughs> OnlyFans is going to come out one. soon. Chris yeah. one, but nah. Just make sure you don't talk in your shit. <laughs> you like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, bro? Wait, is that a dog? Yeah, yeah, no yeah. dogs in here. Yeah, is that a dog? No. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even. Oh, God, I got terrible images in my head. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, also, guys, we are on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts, every single platform you listen to. We are there. Just make sure to wear headphones because you will definitely get fired from your job and or released. Okay? Anchor link is below. Also, get the merch. Fresh Your Podcast Store. Dot com Again, com You get the hoodies, T-shirts. We're out there. You know what I mean? Get the gear to include uh, Fresh Fit T-shirts. I feel like shirts. Yo, guys, winter's coming. Get some hoodies, man. I'm cold as hell. That's why I got my hood it up right winter. now. Miami's cold right now. Yeah, Miami's actually kind of cold right now. I ain't going to lie. How are you in a oh, crop top right now, Nina? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> forget it, forget it, forget it. I'm doing anything for crop. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, Chris. <laughs> uh, okay, and then uh, also, guys, check out our Clips channel. We have a Clips channel, yes. So if you don't have, you know, two or three hours to watch a regular podcast, go ahead and check us out on Fresh of Clips. Um, you know, get to see the best parts, you know, the funny parts, the crazy parts, whatever it may be. All that stuff is there. Check us out there. Also, Fresh, you want to tell them about, about your uh, vlog Yo, channel? Yo, vlog channel is popping, man. We have some things going on in the news, you feel me? Going viral once again. Drama is always a good thing. Uh, but yeah, I made a new vlog. Check it out, guys. Go on there, support the channel. 100K on the way, let's go. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, yeah, go check out that vlog channel. You just posted a video today, right? There you go. Yeah, you just... You just and yo, the Lambo video is dropping tomorrow. I'm getting a new Lamborghini, guys. It's going to be... It's, it's here right now, but I'm going to drop it tomorrow. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, he couldn't get it to that, guys, because uh, we had an interview with Robert Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki. That was pretty hey, fucking yo. lit, man. <laughs> that was good to that, man. Yeah, man. Yo, we're giving y'all all yo. kinds of... Bro, yeah. who can bring in Girls at Night yeah. Interview Kiyosaki during the day, and then have Casita on this motherfucker, DJ Academics, and then bring in Brandon Carter, and millionaire. In December, Andrew Tate coming again. Yeah, Andrew Tate. Oof, you fire. know, I bro, like what? You know what I'm saying? And if we get enough likes, I'll give you guys finally the update on Michaela Peterson oh. that y'all been waiting on. I've been sitting on it. I've oh. had this information for about almost two weeks now. But if you guys want to know, we need to get the likes up to a certain man. point. But man, we're giving you all kinds of content, bro. Real talk. We give you guys everything. Money. Girls. I talked to you guys yesterday about how I uh, closed my real estate deal uh, on a triplex. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, everything. Hold on. We got caught, bro. Robert Kisaki's RP now. Thanks, there you bro. Go. Yeah, facts. Oh, yeah. Richard Cooper. Shout out, shout out to all Robert them, is man. no they RP it, aware. You know? There you go. I got a sound effect for that, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, um, but yeah, man. So, guys, we really, we're, we're just here to give you guys as much value as possible. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, you know, subscribe to the channel, like it, you know, if you're 
you found us through some other people, you know, sub to the channel and like our stuff, man, because we're here giving you all kinds of content, man, that you guys can use. If you want to get your money on point, get in shape. We have a fitness Friday. We got y'all with everything, man. And we got, uh, we'll probably do dating. We're going to do a dating topic tomorrow for you guys yep. that you guys pick whatever the people want. And we got y'all, man. So, uh, yeah, Chris, you want to talk about your uh, Twitch? It's got uh, follow me on Twitch at Aaron Poxon. Um, I did a pre-show today, but I had to take it down because so uh, sorry, so. Uh, Chris and yeah, the- we're back. <laughs> yeah, Chris uh, hit the refresh button. Like uh, I got you, Chris. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Where's that? Uh, yeah. Stupid. You got to give yourself one too. Facts, right? You know what? You're right. Stupid. Yeah, sorry, guys. He hit the fucking <laughs> refresh. <laughs> guys, we're doing live. So, uh, guys, follow me on Twitter, Aaron Poxon. Shout out to you guys, 2K Merch Gang in the house. And guys, I release uh, a merch gear, my first merch gear for my Twitch channel. So, guys, check it out. I will do an update this week. Let's get it, merch gang. Cool. All right. Yeah. So, uh, I guess uh, that's uh, pretty much it for shamelessly selling you guys things. Uh, all right. Cool. Let's uh, introduce the ladies. All right, ladies. So, give us your name. I mean, shit, y'all been here before, man. But anyhow, oh, yeah, for, new, new, for new new viewers, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and your current dating status. We'll start right here. And your body count. <laughs> this thing. Hey. <laughs> Always a body count. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, go ahead. But, yeah. <laughs> um, my name's Talia White. I'm 23. I'm no longer working with Chewy. I'm working. Uh, what? What? <laughs> she left, bro. <laughs> <laughs> as a compliance specialist, and I'm single. Damn, bro. Well, like, how are you going to leave Chewy when they're on the up and up? Yeah. I know, but it, it had been a long time since I've been there. I mean, uh, customers aren't so nice. Guys, still investing in man. <laughs> well, it's a bunch of single yeah, women. What do you care? With, with no kids. <laughs> with no kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm going to complain and cry. Food. Yeah, you know? Shut up and give me the food. We're, give me the food. My food's a day late. My poodle's How's dying. You, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? My chihuahua's dying. You know? <laughs> so, back, okay, man. fair enough. And your current dating status? Single. All right, cool. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi, I'm lovely. Um, IG is so lovely. S O O O L O V E L E Y. I'm 33. I'm single. Go ahead. Chris beat me to it. No. Okay. And my body count is zero because I repented on Sunday. <laughs> oh. Yo, you know so it resets. No, no, no. You know when girls do like a um, do like a. What, what do you call that when you born again? Born again. Your, uh, born again. Oh, born again. again. Yeah, yeah. clients. Like, oh yeah, I got zero bodies, on, bro. No, you don't. <laughs> zero <laughs> bodies. There you go. Now, well, welcome back. Welcome back. Wait, wait, hold on. She's uh, missing her two girls. Oh yeah. What? Two girls oh, came as well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right. Are they virgins as well? <laughs> <laughs> and as a god, I'm a virgin. Okay. <laughs> and I'm a multi-billionaire, so <laughs> That's fair enough. If we're just gonna give each other titles. All right. I like it. Well, my name is Zofi with a Z. I am a model, a graphic designer, and a painter, and I also work for Duke and Dame Whiskey. So, and for some of you guys that might not recognize her, she was here on that horrific episode last week when the girls were literally arguing, arguing just to argue. Like that one girl that was next to me, bro. I I lost brain cells from that show. So uh, I'm yeah. all up for like defending females because you know, like females. Are females but i'm like nah girl at this point you're wrong the wage gap and all that other stuff and i was like i, I explained it exactly why the wage gap does not exist because of sexism and she still was like well, what? what 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 what's a wage gap i was like that's what you tried to argue with me this whole time three hours later and then she's yeah. like oh but where's the <laughs> where's the number later. when you just mentioned 0. 0.5 cents you gave a number i'm like just let it go it was between 70 to 80 cents, but close enough. At yeah. least you know it was a number to some degree. Yeah. You know? And she, I literally 19. said it to her and she still didn't know. This, you know, so it's fine. Huh? I won't give you the stupid part. Slow Jams. Hey, guys. What's up? It's Slow Jams, a.k.a. SJ, a.k.a. Mayo Fire. What's up? Um, <laughs> check out my rap music on my website, www.slwjmz.net. I am 23, Jordan year, next year, Kobe year. After that, I don't know. But, um... I'm single. There you go. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nina in the crop top. Hi, guys. Merch. Merch. I'm Nina the Pineapple. Merch. Hey. 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 Hey.
Reloaded. And I go switch. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> so I'm 25. I do OnlyFans. Nina the Pineapple on there. And I'm single. I'm looking for a husband. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know I just shook my booty, my booty, but I'm looking for a husband. <laughs> no, she, for whoever's she, interested. She's trying. Yeah, she's trying. I mean, come with the ring. Somebody, somebody's gonna come with a ring. I'm telling yeah. you, bro. Somebody. You can't, you can't save them all. Someone's gonna come. <laughs> yes, gonna come. yes, please. <laughs> and um, yeah. Thank you guys for having me. I cool. love being here. Welcome so back. it's good to have you. I think have you do you have the record uh between the most appearances? It's Probably. between you or Maya. <laughs> Probably. Mm -hmm. You are slow jams. Um, when y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> um, I so? came here the day <laughs> after OnlyFans and the tragic future of women. Okay. I came here when Jasmine Blue Jasmine Blue appeared right before she came. Mm, yeah, 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 Blue Jasmine. Yeah, Blue was, Jazz, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Nina probably then. Yeah, I mean both y'all been on a long time. We, it's it's always great to have you guys. Honestly, like, we love it here. Yeah, Thank we you. rock with y'all, man. So you sure? Because we're <laughs> misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> That's false. And I see you guys' Reddit account. Yeah, okay? shout out, shout out, I, to, I see shout it. out to Reddit, bro. Yo, y'all niggas are funny as hell, bro. Yeah, you guys are. I actually made an account just to like comment in there too. <laughs> shout out to y'all on Reddit. Yo. What about you? Hi, I'm Lee. Lisa Good Seven. Bow. Hey. New York. She's from Brooklyn. New York. That's part of me, Brooklyn. <laughs> Y'all better tap in one time for the one time. <laughs> All right. So, um, Lisa Semitetti on, on Instagram. I am a commercial model, entre entrepreneur, creative creator. I'm just a creator. I just be out here. I do. I have like, I did like every type of job in the world. So I just go with the flow. I'm just. To include uh, robbing people. She is from Brooklyn. I'm just not. Don't even do me like that, Myron. Don't do me like they that. They call it Brooklyn but... for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm out here. I'm just being creative and just going with the flow. And I'm 31, y'all. Oh, uh, Chris, uh, you got this one? Here you go. Oh, I beat you I on that like, one. Why are you so doing annoying. it for everybody so over 30. 31? Uh, 30? Uh, 21. <laughs> out here, though. <laughs> well, you guys are old enough to remember uh, Metal Gear Solid, so that's why. 30s is the new 20s. That so part of me. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. I mean, I've okay. had them girls. At the, listen, I'll be having the 21 year olds, the 20 year olds coming after me like crazy. Like Let's 30 go. year olds don't even come after me. I don't know. Period. Crazy. I'm just saying. Because you you they're, you, they're in bed. Your current status? I'm single, y'all. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. I just told y'all the young bucks be coming after me. So. You got any more chewy um, applications going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. I'm just kidding. No, kidding. sorry. <laughs> All right. Miss Red, welcome back. Hi. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Red. You can follow me on Instagram at Divinely Red. Um, I'm a model and I'm 20 years old. I'm also single. Ooh. Not looking for anything. So please don't <laughs> slide in my DMs. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nothing. Let him know. All right. What All about right. you? Um, my name is Ashley. My hey, can I mean send a dick pic? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> my Instagram is Baby Lily, Baby L E E L E I. I'm a nail tech and I am single. Welcome and, back. And you said you're what, 22, right? Yes, I'm 22. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I remember you. Um, yes. No, yes, I know you hate me. It's okay. No, no, no. But oh. Chris would put you right next to me again. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. I can't believe yeah. it. Uh, you're, you're, you're the lesbian girl that, like, made no sense. <laughs> yeah. Chris in the back, like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, on bro. purpose. Hey, he, put me next to, he put me next to the two ops. Red, me and Red, Red disagree on a lot of shit, too. <laughs> but this goes to all you stupid feminists on TikTok. That say I can't bring people to have different views. Look at who I'm next to. I have a delusional lesbian next to me, and Ben, who's a flaming liberal. And they're both here. No, I'm just kidding. They're both hey, good people. Oh, uh, Marin. Yeah, what's up? Gotcha, bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you, Chris. That's why your head is huge, bro. That self snitching hat. You can't even read all the letters on it right now. Oh, shit. Stretched out. Damn. Shout out to Chris Bruce. Yeah, yeah, he was you snitching on yourself ass. by wearing that goddamn hat. Niggas know the head size now. Hey, nigga, so, you, should, you should wear a hat, man. Uh, you I, I, over you there, know man. what? Hey, this is true. But I could always restore my hair. You cannot shrink the set, hat, size of your head. I know, oh. right? Facts. Yes. Uh, okay. So we got, uh, <laughs> let's see here. We got, uh, yo, guys, thank you so much for the donations. This Real money nice. will be used. On hookers and cocaine later. <laughs> Mess away on five bucks. Best F and F girls of 2021. Number one, Bianca. Number two, Cece. Number three, Nina. Number uh, four through ten, some random hoes. And then all the way at number 809 is so lovely. Say something, I dare you. Ooh. 
Mr. Williams. All right. Ruthless. Uh, okay. And then uh, Mr. Williams, message deleted. So, yeah, he's, he's, he's hating. And then, uh, oh, you changed your hair. Okay. You were going to scrap with that other chick. Yeah. I remember now. <laughs> yeah, the oh, yeah. <laughs> she was oh, going to scrap with Stepper. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, real talk. Now I remember that night. I was yeah. nervous. I was like, yo, it's going to be a World Star moment because she was mad. She was mad and she was mad too. Oh, man. First, night, first night. Oh, yeah. man. She I likes her hair too. Fight. Okay, so we got three ops at the table. <laughs> yo, so, so y'all cannot say that I don't like bring people of different perspectives, man. Like, y'all can't say it. I but, bring it all the time. But at the end of the night, we yeah. ended up talking at the camera and we like right. pretty much. Oh, you and Stepper. Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. Okay. They're cool yeah, y'all are cool. Yeah, we were, Actually, we were no, no. Why? Because I made y'all do it. Because when I saw you, I'm like, if I see you blink towards her, <laughs> then you have an issue, right? And then you like, all right, you know what? I ain't going to do it, right? <laughs> no, no, actually. All right. <laughs> All right. You assumed I was going to attack her, but I'm not that type of person. I was like, even though he told me not the same thing to her, I'm still going to say something. Like, I don't give a fuck. But we ended up talking and I was able to like explain where I was coming from off camera. And we're cool now. Like, she's a dope chick. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just. Oh, you better. It was hilarious to see y'all argue. <laughs> she was like, such <laughs> such because. <laughs> She mentioned something about the other girl she was gonna fight, and she was like, "Yeah, that bitch don't step. Like, I'm with I'm with the steppers." And I was like, Whoa. "Excuse me, <laughs> steppers? <laughs> she ain't playing with niggas. Yeah. I'm gonna step on you." Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, she didn't say she did not pronounce what? the R. She said, "I'm with the steppers." steppers. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, let me let me correct that. She's with the girls. She did not pronounce the R. Uh, she yeah, was we ready. Were, we will go jump that bitch. Ready I was like, um, <laughs> "No, you were not." That's funny. This must come back on the show. Uh, exactly, E. So shout out to her. Okay, uh, yeah, shout out to exactly E. You gonna find a day in time though. We saved you from getting jumped though. Yeah, man. They wanted, that, was, that was like five of them chicks that were ready. They call would have been mad at us. The North Miami goons. Yeah, they would have mad at us. <laughs> for real, for real. So, so goddamn it. Yeah, that was a first. Uh, okay, <laughs> world star hip hop. World day. star. Actually, you're a world star. Actually, you're a world star today, uh, today too. I am. Yeah, for, for, for the yo, clip. Yeah, went viral. Oh, went viral, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, Kevin Durant uh-huh. reacted to one of the uh, spiritual worlds. Reacted to it. Academics is going everywhere. So. And yeah. Timbaland, yeah. Which yeah. One? Timbaland too. Timbaland comments to young. Oh shit! Oh shit! Tim- uh, Timbaland like uh, fucking Justin Timberlake. Timbaland. Yeah. No. Yes. Like. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. <laughs> like Justin. Like Aaliyah Timbaland. Timbaland. Hey, Missy Elliott. Watch it, man. Watch it, bro. Like uh, you watch it, man. Yes. I got no money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, I got no money. You all know. That song, The Way I Are, Carrie Hilson. <laughs> bro, that song, I, I listened to it. Okay, so real quick. I remember when that song came out. <laughs> 2008. Let's go down memory lane real quick. 2008. All right. Some of y'all were fucking in diapers by that back then, right? So, but uh, I remember I was a senior in high school. I was, I was going to graduate that year. Yeah. And MTV2 used to play. Uh, no, this was you probably started dirt baggy pants on dirty nigga man. No, <laughs> I was I was already started wearing the fitted clothes, man. Started in 07, 06. Pre-fubu you were wearing fubu. See, Pre- that's like, fubu. see, guys. We're wearing Chris just gave himself away. <laughs> Chris just gave himself away. That's how I know Chris was a dirty nigga, bro. <laughs> Two thousand eight, bro. Was not the time to be wearing baggy oh, clothes. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 2008, no, yeah. bro. You're right, you're right, you're right. I remember yeah. the fashion transition vividly. It was when Jim Jones came out with We Fly High. Then mm-hmm. everyone yeah. switched over to the rock star vibe and the t- tighter clothes. Ed Hardy started mm-hmm. coming in style. The Spangled the skinny belts. Skinny jeans. Nike mm-hmm. ACG, skinny True jeans came in. Vans. True religions, but all that other like stuff. I love Miami, so our trend is it goes by so damn fast. You were in Connecticut, you know, in the middle of nowhere. So I think it was a little slower back yeah. then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, bro, you were still probably wearing Fubu and Anichi in nah, fucking man. away. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. Just, uh, As a matter of fact, Chris, you look like the type of guy that wears South Pole. <laughs> Shout out South Pole, by the way. The Japanese yeah, sandals on his shit. Hey, 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 hey you're boy. right. You ain't capping, nigga. <laughs> Chris, give up. So, so, uh, so anyway. Right? Carrie Hilson. Right? I remember I used to watch MTV2 in the morning getting ready for school and shit, right? Mm-hmm. And that song, The Way I Are, I was like, yo, this song, I used to like it back then, right? But now I listen to it as an adult. I ain't got no money. You know, I can't even take you on a date. Mm-hmm. And Carrie's like, oh, it's okay. I like you just the way you are. And in my head, I'm like, now as an adult, I was like, bro, this song is so fucking cap. <laughs> like, if, yo, if you didn't have money, couldn't take her on a date. <laughs> You know, I can't even buy you flowers. Listen, <laughs> wine and dine and You know fun. what I'm saying? Nah. Oh, but man. it's okay because you're the perfect soul mate. Like, I remember that song, bro. And I was like, yo, this shit is cap. So, guys, if any of you guys want to see Blue Pill Lies, 
Listen to the song Carrie Hilson featuring Timbaland, or it was produced by Timbaland actually. The way I are, okay, it was Carrie Hilson, and she actually made a, a, a dumbass tweet uh, that we reacted to a couple months back. Yeah. So anyway, but uh, yeah, Timbaland, man, shout out to him, bro. He's an OG, man, legend, legendary stuff. Fox. But uh, yeah, but yeah, we're trending right now, guys. So we are gonna get the hate. I can't wait until it, we get the hate again. Okay, Sean O. GGPI Polestar to the fucking moon. Look it up. Only pure play EV company other than Tesla. Okay. Thank you. Stay over there. $10. Freshman CEO supporter. Stay okay. Over $10. There. AAL to stay over there again. Shout out to you, man. Uh, 50 bucks, Robert Romano. Hey, FNF, Paul Janka does not have an Instagram account. What email can he contact you at? Thanks in advance. Uh, have have uh, Paul Janka email me at uh, freshfitpodcast at gmail.com. Freshfitpodcast at gmail.com. We'll have him on the show. He is a, a legendary PUA. I respect his work. Agent Fit, $2. King Myron, still on that unblock F to hate, okay? Uh, oh, he wants to unblock him. Ah, uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm in a weird situation yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, soon, yeah. soon, soon, soon. <laughs> soon. <laughs> Peanut Patootie, five bucks. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, good gentlemen. Wishing you all a great episode this evening. Shout out to the UK crew that are still awake, supporting. Thank you, Pina. Shout out to the UK. And then we got uh, Black Shady JML. Shout out to JM, JML Transportation. Uh, Black Scorpio uh, J, uh, with the super sticker, ten bucks. Pineapple with her bangs and ass. Get the likes up. Two dollars from Michael Canonis. What's your IG, Nina? It's Nina the Pineapple and Nina the Pineapple on OnlyFans. Send that dick pic. Cool. D nice. Uh, five bucks fresh. Why does every girl on podcast want to touch you? Your new name is Fresh. Stay over there, CEO. Bro, I okay. don't know, bro. It's weird, dog. Mm-hmm. It's and weird. then uh, it's your boy uh, AED, twenty-one years old, trying to buy Hellcat before my st- they stop production. Or are they really gonna stop production mm-hmm. on Hellcat? In twenty twenty-three. Yeah, I seen that. Why? I Too many accidents. Why. I don't know. Too many black people probably buying. Well, Biden emissions. On Biden? <laughs> Damn, Trey just gave me the info. Trey spoke up on that one. Yeah, he said oh, Biden. Oh, oh. <laughs> Biden. Uh, it's okay. All cars need to be electric, oh, oh, yeah, all cars need to be electric by 2030? What? Yeah. Oh, shit. Really? No, it's not going to happen. And, pro- and, and production. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. That means that, like, block Trey, you got a mic, man. Tell the people, bruh. This nigga. Okay. $7 That's from uh, Ali Sydney. Robert Kiyosaki interview was dope. Keep bringing us that good shit. Can I get a down under? Down under. Down under. And then Australia. we got King Life. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, King Life, I see, I see you, bro. Yo, yo, we, yo, Life, man. No, he Come shows on, a lot of love, bro. Yeah, no, but he's like, yeah, aggressive. That, well, yeah, he, he's, he's... He don't play. He's uh, the shooter. Yo, yo, he's yo, the he, yo, shooter. Yo, Shout out to King Life, man. Shout out to King Life, bro. We see you, man. The army's here. <laughs> yeah, see Caleb you. Mack, y'all got my whole crew yelling merch when anyone says I feel like always hilarious. <laughs> Nina and Slow Jams looking fantastic as usual. Yes, man. Show the ladies some love. We'll be in Miami, right? All of a sudden, I hear merch. Hey, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a podcast. You so, it's catching on, man. Shout out to Merch Gang. Uh, Keenan Parks, Pineapple, what's your type? Ooh. Ooh we talked we about it on the blog earlier, but you tell him in person here on the podcast. What's your type? Money. I like 35 and up because Money. you guys just have some sense of maturity that I, it drives me crazy. <laughs> and you got to be willing like to wife me because that's what I want right now. I want a husband. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, recent subscriber, been watching y'all for about a month, was recently RP. Y'all just solidifying great insight and entertainment. Slow Jam's fine as fuck. Big, ni- uh, big oh, night. Big yeah. night. $10. Uh, slow Jam's, can you drop your Instagram? IG. My Instagram is S L O W dot J A M S. Hit me up. Yep. So, so, okay. Wait, say, spell it one more time. S L O W. Oh, S L. Okay. All right. Slow, slow, slow <laughs> underscore. Slow, slow jams. Down. Guys. Slow jams. Slow that jam. Yeah. Okay. Slow it down. And then uh, 10 bucks, Hood Ninja Fresh. I want to start wearing an F and F merch to the gym, but I might get kicked out. LOL. Do you recommend? Uh, <laughs> you yeah. could. People will probably come yeah. up to you and, and talk to you guys. Yeah. I get recognized a lot when I'm out and about, bro. I'm like, it's crazy, man. Thank y'all for the love. And yo, if you see me or Fresh out and about, bro, like, come up and say, what's up? Like, I will talk to you like i'm gonna I talk mean, to you i'll take a picture ten dollars for yeah, a picture tag you. <laughs> i'm with the gang i'm be a little bit paranoid but hey man once you don't touch yeah. me dog we cool yeah uh joshua jack is following y'all for a week hopefully myron don't lose hair tonight if so i'm a barber got you on the hair replacement all right man two dollars you guys haven't seen kevin durant's feet ashy as fuck yeah that shit is bro ashy. i thought my feet were bad bro kevin durant hit me up dog like we need to talk about this because michael blackson's feet are, are terrible <laughs> but yours bro i sure to mine god damn it <laughs> Dave East, five bucks. Uh, Super sticker, thank you. 3D the way. Could we say Donald Trump next? Could we could we see Donald Trump next? Actually, maybe Robert Kiyosaki can make it happen. I mean, he kept bringing him up in the podcast. I don't know, though. That'd be, that'd be lit, though. That'd be, oh, yeah, be former president here, FNF. and f <laughs> bring, bring the internet. Bro, that Thanks. would be fucking lit. That'd be lit. Thanks. That'd be lit. Because we all know uh, all those people that talk about Trump 
You are fake news. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to start with, uh, okay, got that one. We go on viral as usual. Anyone looking into hydroponics farming without soil? Uh, no, I've never done that. So let me know. But I think, I don't know. Be careful in your country, bro. You're in Great Britain. Who knows? You might get in trouble. Um, all right, so let's get into the show. We got a t- thing to react to, right? Yeah. And yeah, guys, we are trending right now. We got a bunch of, uh, like, you know, between <laughs> Fresh's relationship <laughs> oh. and and and, uh, and me, uh, you know, and uh, with on Instagram with the, uh, you know, with the with the uh, clip, which is an older clip about traditional women and traditional men. Yeah. You know, just getting hit now. Shout out so, to World Star. Thanks for sharing our contest. Thanks to World Star. Thanks to all. Thanks to all y'all, man. Like, appreciate Rex. it. For sharing the stuff, go viral, so, man. Yeah, we go, we go, and you guys know what happens. Once you get trending again, what's gonna happen? People, go, oh fuck y'all, niggas, on. People gonna hate. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, we're kind of getting used to it at this point. You know, so anyway, so we got a video react to. Yes, we do. But uh, first question, ladies, any comments that you guys have, by the way, at all? Yes. When I went Please. to Vegas, I came across Don Lewis twice again. Hey, like, okay. I just know. I don't know. Shout out to Don Lewis. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that Don was Lewis? random. Yeah. Oh, Deal Saint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I magically saw him at Komodo not too long ago. Magically saw him in Vegas. That's a it's sign. A lot of... That's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> yo! Yeah. Shout, out, shout out to DL Saint, man. Yeah, shout out to DL Saint, man. Okay. And yo, guys, do, do me a favor. We already got 4,000 y'all in here. Please like the video. And I think we're going to go from this point forward, what? Uh, te- oh, okay. Chris is in the back whacking off. My bad, guys. <laughs> no, uh, but real quick, though. Uh, tell us from your experience, because you've been on the show maybe twice or three times already. Most of you actually in here on the panel. Tell us, what is your stance now on cheating after coming on the show? And we're talking about men and women, so cheating. What's your stance on cheating at this point after being on the show? And we'll start. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're going to be like your girlfriend, but I mean. Choose wisely. What's your stance um, on cheating? On cheating? Like, what do you mean? Like, okay, you heard our stance on cheating, right, from being on the show. But after hearing that stance, what do you thoughts about cheating? Like what I think cheating is? Yeah. As soon as they give them any type of like attention. Okay. So <laughs> male or uh, female? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Because That's like weird. you know how they always say like oh like if you're um if someone comes up to you like how girls will just ignore guys or mm-hmm. guys will ignore girls like as soon as you give them that attention where you like that's that's it. It's opening up a door. You're now. opening it up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I got you. Mm-hmm. What about you? So before coming on the show, I thought that cheating was avoidable, but I think it's very, very (laughs) easy to fall. (laughs) Now, after being on the show for a few times, um, I see that, yeah, it's kind of unavoidable because people are all different and they all have interesting qualities. So I would understand why. You know, you would take up interest in someone else. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It happens. <laughs> Red is uh, definitely learning. Yeah. <laughs> Where attention goes, energy flows. So, period. If you're giving anyone attention, you you show any type of interest to somebody else other than I. Not on some insecure shit, but I mean, like, you know what I mean? That's cheating. Period. Okay. So, attention. Nina? Okay. So, what I get from the show is, it's been about, I think, seven months already since I've started coming on y'all's podcast. And transform, man. Obviously, my mentality was a whole different because everything that you guys teach, even though it preach, (laughs) even though I grew up listening to those things, I always thought of as misogamy. Misogamy. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Misogamy. Misogamy. (laughs) Um... (laughs) <laughs> but what I get is that if men, you know, quote unquote, cheat, they're not really cheating. They're just kind of doing their thing as men. And... <laughs> oh, Chris is back. Okay. <laughs> and I guess don't take it so personal and so to heart. And I think you guys have convinced me. I would let my husband cheat on me. Hey. <laughs> hey. City boys, we up, baby. Nah. City boys. Yeah. Whoever you are, give us a thank you, man. Okay, but he has to let me know. Yeah, so it really okay. wouldn't be true. That's it fair, that's be fair. I mean, like before, thing. after. There's <laughs> rules. Like, I don't care. Go sleep around, whatever. If that's you and you really can't help it and you like some girl and you want to stick it in, okay, that's fine. But one, you have to let me know. Mm-hmm. Two, you have to use protection. Thanks. And three, just let me know that you did it. But I don't know. I don't want to know who it was with or what you did. 
just let me know that you did it. And no for uh, can you join? Facts. Um. Hadouken. <laughs> if it's a girl, come on, Nina. What? I will um, join. I like. I'll watch you do things. All right, Mongo, next. Mongo. Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. What I've gathered from being on Fresh and Fit multiple times, I'm not saying that I was um, excluded from getting cheated on, but if I want to fuck with an HBM, most likely that's going to happen. HBO? HBM. I value. Yeah. Oh, HBM. HBM. Oh. HBM. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I speak HBM. in teeth. Sorry. Uh, wait, Nina, you, did you finish, by the way? Oh, did yeah. Wanna, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Chris, okay. All right. <laughs> Chris yeah, I was just saying, I was just saying, um, I, I do it for the chat. Like, if I want to pr- go after a rapper or a, or a top 10 percenter or a crypto cunt god or something, like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be making myself feel as if I won't get cheated on. I'm more open to realizing when more money comes, more opportunity, more women, more chances to cheat on me. Not that I didn't know that before, but understanding it and then low key attracting HVM in these last eight months, I've been seeing it. So, okay. yeah. Okay. So, I personally think that I would be open only if the man <laughs> is mad rich and mad. I don't care about fame, just rich. If you have my bills taken care of, everything else, and you're treating me like I'm a main. That's all I care about. You cheating? I don't want to hear about it. Now, if it's like a regular relationship now, hell yeah. You giving attention to somebody else, I'm going to have a problem. But it depends what it is. You know, if only, that's only if you're that serious. So that's why high value men, some of them be cheating like a motherfucker. But there's mm-hmm. men that really is down to settle down and create an empire and whatever the hell it is. So I'm done for that. Where? <laughs> <laughs> not in Miami. <laughs> Definitely We're in Miami. Not. I mean, you might still get his dick sucked from time to time, but yeah, you, you, you'll accept that, right? <laughs> nah, I'll be a sugar baby before that. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, fair enough. Mm. Right, what about you? Me? Um, like Maya said, if it's a high value man, I already know he's bringing hoes to the table. Um, when it comes to cheating, I feel like women cheat Merch. emotionally. Um, men, they just want to sample certain shit, even if they got something good at home. So cheating comes with it. Okay. Cool. What about you? Well, isn't the definition of cheating like lying for your own benefit or something along those lines? Mm-hmm. It means so. Settling. I feel like if you're lying <laughs> to me about it and making and gaslighting me, then it's still cheating. Yeah. Um, but if you have had, had had that conversation with me about like what you want and what you need in this relationship, and you need to be with other women as well, like we can have that conversation. I'd be okay with it. But if you're lying and gaslighting me, making me feel like I'm crazy for thinking you're sleeping around with other women then no it's not okay mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so we got a video mm-hmm. talking about this same topic but in a funny way it's actually pretty uh hilarious it's on instagram right now uh so guys keep keep, keep up the video please if you don't mind it's yep. on uh, instagram and uh are you on the super chat first or no yeah we can okay cool uh, let um me r- 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 real quick. <laughs> i think actually uh, let's put the video first and then we can do the chat afterwards cool um, right here. One second. There we go. Yeah, man. So here we go. Uh, wait for Myron to get back here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this shit was hilarious, man. I thought he edited it. All right, ready? Uses me to punish women who aren't living according go, to their go, purpose. Refresh. Shows my man King Hookahs. This shit was funny as hell. I feel like. God uses me to punish women who aren't living according to their purpose. And he uses them to bless me. I don't know why God works the way he does. I was cheating to protect her feelings. I'm doing it for her. Cheating saved my relationship for years. I would have left that bitch after a month if it had not been for cheating. Cheating really came in and saved the day. Because when I was cheating, I was happier. My girl was happier. I'm meeting new women. I'm networking. And as I'm more fulfilled of a person, that allows me to be a better part. Oh I feel like God uses it. Merch. Let's make a networking line for me. Networking. Is, uh, excuse. Oh, babe, I'm networking. No, bro, you're here giving out your number. <laughs> no, you did work in. Oh, man, network is powerful. Uh-huh. Okay. That's for little Thoughts boy. Video? Thoughts on the video? Uh, yeah, if it works for their relationship, if they've had that conversation, I say go for it. Like, that makes you happier. It's crazy that, like, only a month in, he's like, I need to 
see other people. <laughs> or uh, this isn't going to work out. <laughs> so would you be cool with that? Uh, yeah. I feel like I would. If it's yeah. the right person, yeah. Okay. If they bring enough if they bring enough to the table for me and I bring enough to them, and like I feel like if they need that. If they pay all the bills and they cover everything, yeah. 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 I haven't met anyone <laughs> who are in Freedom. that. Freedom. Okay, cool. What's you, Miss Lovey? Like, based on a guy on a video? Yeah. I feel like he's settling. He ain't got a lip bitch. If he would have had a lip bitch, right. he wouldn't be, like, a month in and you're already cheating? Mm -hmm. Like, nah. Your bitch ain't lit. That's why you're looking around for something else. Mm -hmm. would, you, would, you talk, would you tolerate that? Huh? Would you, would you tolerate that? No, because I'm I'm lit. I'm the lit bitch the niggas be looking you, you, for. You the lit bitch. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All, right. All right. So it's like if you're if you're already stepping outside of it, like mm. I'm not doing something right. So like that's a problem within me. Mm. I can't keep you. I can't keep your attention. So so a question. What's up? <laughs> What's the lit bitch? <laughs> so I got a lit dick. Oh. <laughs> A lit, New York, a lit bitch. New York, is, that's right. That's your homie right there. <laughs> that um, first we need, and we foremost, need to get Fabio on the goddamn podcast. Hey, 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 yo, Fabio. You know what? We're going to make it happen. Fabio first Foreign. and foremost, We're make it a lit, Fabio Foreign, man. A lit bitch is a throw baby. That's number one. Okay. Duck, Two, duck, you duck, can take thousand. her anywhere. That's either to uh, like a... Uh, I want to say like a blue collar restaurant mm -hmm. or a ratchet ass strip club. Okay. You can pretty much like take her anywhere. Like she's down to earth. She's not judgmental. She's fun. She's a Viral. party girl. Movie. <laughs> she's a party girl. She got home bag. Like that's like a lit bitch. You don't really have to worry about her. She's just all about the fun and wait, living wait. In, within the moment. Wait. Okay. Good bow. Okay. Who said wait? Every, every, right. No, I mean, it's, it's it's um oxymoron, though, because if, if she's like down feminine and then she has her own bag, uh, I mean, what? What I gathered from the what, facts Chris? is that she's a side <laughs> chick. Yeah. <laughs> well, she can she can play a side chick too, and she, when she plays it, she plays she can it play well. Any role, she's lit. She yeah. can play any role. Bro. She can be the main bitch. She can be the Shots side bitch. She can be the actress. Un un uncovered. <laughs> yeah, like. Bitch, bitch, bitch wants to sing on a lit day. Hey, 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 Oh, about what? Yo, got you. <laughs> about... Stupid. <laughs> Wait. So recap. The, so the video, we just we just watched it, right? Uh huh. What are your thoughts on the video? I think he's smoking crack cocaine or both. <laughs> <laughs> both. You don't think he's networking? <laughs> I dealt with that. Fuck no. Because if I did the same networking, it's not networking no more for you, is it? Is it? No. Well, technically... Bitches be wearing stockings and he's networking trying to get in them nets. Well, I don't. <laughs> well, I I know. Know. He ain't lying. He ain't no. lying if you know what I'm no, saying. No, because uh, no, these men be saying I'm networking with a polo shirt or with some button shirt that you get from Hubu. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's Hubu? That's what Chris be wearing. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> little thing. Chris back in 08. <laughs> the hell ta talking about networking. I'm here with a whole suit and a whole dress. I'm actually networking. So, no. And you don't bring no money to the table. Oh, my God. Why are you always lying? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Okay, cool. slow chance. What about you? Thoughts on the video? I would say the only piece I agree with is when he said he was messing with different females that it helped his relationship. There are some guys who will have a main chick locked down for main reasons and a side chick locked down for the reasons the main can't do. And that doesn't just mean, oh, she can't fuck me. No, some guys just... This guy told me, who showed me the game, the <laughs> the best thing next to a good vagina is new vagina. Like I don't know why, but it is like so. Don't the monko, cook monko. clean all that, take care of bills. Okay, cool. I just want to try something out. Correct. So you um, I'm trying to keep my mouth closed, <laughs> but sometimes a side chick be a therapist and speak up for the main chick because, like you said, the main chick sometimes will be that lit. Yeah. So that's. I haven't had times where the main the hey, guy hey, the, hey. the guys tell me about the main chick 
And the side chick will go ahead and give him advice on how to work with the main chick. And the main chick don't understand why everything's working all of a sudden. Correct. Like, yeah, <laughs> she fucking him, giving him advice, probably telling him what to do, showing him how to treat you. Like, I'm not saying it's right, but it works. For some That's the only thing I agree on. So you fucking need pussy for some advice. It really be happening. I'm serious. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it really does happen. The I mean, yeah. that's called they slow man who has a new pussy after they want. With females. This Variety. man that I know complained about his main chick to his side chick, and the side chick dropped some crazy advice yeah. that helped him stay with his main chick. And the main chick had no idea, but in the long run, she was thankful without knowing where the advice and the new information came from. She just saw a new man. Yeah. So that's all mm. I'm saying. Guys don't have an outlet. You'll be surprised. Right. And they be sticking their thing to the outlet. <laughs> yeah, outlet. They be making an outlet. <laughs> they the plug. Okay. Side chicks the plug. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. What I got from the video is that, I mean, of course. So men are always going to get more satisfaction from, like, seeing different girls and sleeping around with different girls. And the woman's always going to get more satisfaction from consistency consistency and having like that one man that she can always come home to and that one guy that she can sleep with um so you gotta allow him to do that if you want him to be happy and if you want the relationship to be everlasting and to work or you can get a regular guy that can't replace you and that works too Mm -hmm. but you don't want that yeah yeah. (laughs) at least you're honest about it uh all right fair enough <laughs> no because i mean because the thing is is that like a lot of girls we say well do you want an average guy yeah i take an average guy okay five foot eight about 40 to 50k per year That's cap. can you take that and they're mm-hmm. like oh uh i didn't know really that little and i'm like well number one it's not that little it's just that here in miami it's fairly expensive or in a major city in general it's fairly expensive but that is the average american male and they're like oh what the fuck and but then, my yeah. thing is that he has to be honest <clears throat> about it let me know I don't want to know, like, what you did. I just want to know. How it was. No, I just want to know that you did it. I don't want to know. (laughs) Well, in her case, keep it on the high. I need to know. (laughs) I don't want to hear word on the street. I want to hear it from you. Mm. Let me know. That's Mm. okay. Mm. Don't tell me how it was. If if you don't want to know who the person is or whatever, like, what's the purpose of even, like, Having him tell you. Right. Because your brain will still be wondering, because, like, oh, how do you because when you like, hey, I just had sex last night. That's what you want to know? That's because when you hear it from word on the street, it's like, did you hear that your husband was, was with so and so? That's But you you don't want to know who the person right. is. So what's the purpose of even No, no, like, no. Knowing? I'm okay with knowing who the person was. I just don't want to know, like, what happened, what you guys oh, did. What if like, you'd be like, yeah, it was your cousin? Then what you going to do? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. That's scary hey, behavior. Son, where'd you find me? <laughs> <laughs> it's academics. <laughs> oh Lord, oh, holy! Yeah, I mean, I mean, she did say earlier that she didn't want to know, but so you do want to, you do want to know who the girl is, then in that case, Nina. Yeah, but I just don't want to know like how it went and what you guys did. I just want to know who it was and that you did it. So, so what if so, she's better than you? You would you not? I mean, would you want to know that? But at the end of the day, you're <laughs> wifing me, and you're putting things under my name, and Ooh, I'm the one who. Wait, wait, wait. You so know. you won't want to step Ooh. your game up, at least you won't want that heads up. The thing is that he gets satisfaction from, you know, sleeping with other girls. I get satisfaction from like knowing that you're mine and the <laughs> things are under my name. I guess and, they're having that same I'm satisfaction of... too from your man. That's and then I don't know what's the yeah, difference. Yeah, but, but but my man's gonna leave them after. Uh, you know, three Girl, nights. No, they be not they, gonna I, tell you. Guys, we pus- that, pussy matized or mouth matized. Yo, they be years. having side chicks for years. While having a whole girlfriend or yeah. a wife for mm-hmm. years, like mm-hmm. so. If but you got, keep if you got competition, around. would you want? Would you want to know that you have competition for real? Yeah, I don't really oh. compete. Girl, because one day he gonna stroke. I mean, she at gonna the end of the day, like you put that I, ring I've, on my finger, and, and, and they might take it off for the other girl. So, all right, all right, it happens. I'll, you open in the door. So I get what both of you, all, all you guys are, are saying. The thing is, I think what Nina's trying to establish is that she got the ring and the title. The other girls are trying to get the title, but she's the heavyweight champion. Champion. And they can't get the title from her. Not necessarily heavyweight. Even she's only 100 pounds. Light. Yeah, she's 100 pounds. <laughs> but you guys get what I'm saying. So she has the belt and the other girls might try to come for it, but she's going to get it because, well, she has the belt and she's going to defend it, whether, whether you know it or not, because you're just going to provide value for your guy. Because, I mean, women are always competing. You know what I'm saying? Whether you know it or whether it's inadvertent or you, or you don't know or whatever it is. But, I, I mean, 
yeah, the, I think the biggest thing is she has the title, and and I get what you guys are saying. Well, hey, she can give us some good pussy. I always say good pussy almost always has a time clock as far as like, okay, this girl only, she provides good pussy, but like she's useless and everything else. I'm always going to continuously go back to my girl. You know, if that makes sense. And just like y'all said, well, he could have a girlfriend that like, you know, he could be fucking around, but he had a whole girlfriend the whole time. Well, that's the point. He had a whole girlfriend the whole time. Right. But what I'm saying is like, have you ever seen like, yo, there's so many videos where the man ends up like just leaving the wife for Mm -hmm. the side chick. It's a normal That's thing. so rare, though. It's actually rare. Yeah, it's That's very rare, though. so rare. Really? No, it's not. Yeah. They'll no. Sell, they'll sell I think her you, need to wait, you need to wait till they have kids for it to be rare. But if they don't have kids, this man is... He fucking anything. And men are always exercising options. That's what you guys don't get. It's not just side chicks. They exercise options all the time. Well, because they're trying. No. One thing about they're those high-value men though. is that they're they are trying. loyal to their family. And they'll make sure their whole family enjoys their wealth. But they only call work. it family until they have a child with that woman. That's what I'm saying. No, it's only until she stops providing value. So if you're not providing value anymore, of course it's going to leave you for the, the next chick that is. But you know how many women says they could provide value and show it? I feel like if you meet Merch. a chick as... Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you meet a chick as a side chick, <laughs> I feel like... Oh. Merch. <laughs> That's all it's going to be from the jump. That, like... Alicia Keys was men, men, they already know. Like, <laughs> what okay, you're willing Beyonce to sleep got... with me even though I have a wife? Okay, you for the streets. That's not true. I oh, know, no. I know. Women be like make, trying to make these men That's not love. true. I know a couple. Uh, he was married to this woman. And I know that woman very well. Ooh. Very well. Ooh. Married to this woman. The side chick came out of nowhere popping that thing on them. She used to send videos of both of them doing it to the wife. The wife got so drunk, she went in a coma and they had a divorce. She turned around, <laughs> married the side chick. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But see, guys, that's guys, so guys. Extreme. But that's, yeah, you gotta, you guys gotta remember that. Like, I get it, Maya. Like, it could happen. The possibility is there. But you're but like, opening if you the look door. At, if you look at the data, right, like, women saying. overwhelmingly initiate breakups and divorce. It's not men. So, like, if a guy has something good at home, very rarely are they going to compromise it for a new girl. Like that new girl has to like shatter the other girl for him to like step away from from the first girl. Because men don't like. I know you said like men exercise options. The reality is only a few, a, a very small percentage of men can actually exercise options. The rest of us are just jogging. The other, you know, what I'm saying, just trying to exercise, and these other guys really are sprinting. So most guys can't exercise options to the level that women think. It's because you guys can exercise options so easily that women t- tend to conflate. You exercising options is the same thing for men. It's actually very difficult for men. You could be a top tier guy and still get rejected by girls easily. You know what I'm saying? And you could have all your shit together. It doesn't matter. So that's why men rarely initiate breakups. And if a man's married to you, they rarely initiate divorces. We know seven to eight out of 10 divorces are initiated by women. So a fraction of that is men initiating. And typically it's like for some egregious reason, if a guy initiates divorce, because you got to remember that if a guy initiates divorce, He's far more likely to lose his money, his kids, et cetera. There's a reason why the saying is cheaper to keep her is so prevalent. And it's because men suffer dire consequences for divorcing women. So I, I get what you're saying. It is possible. I'm not saying that a dude isn't going to leave his girl for a side chick. It can 100% be done where a side chick comes in mm-hmm. and elevates it, becomes the main girl. And then the, the, the main girl gets demoted. But the main girl's got to seriously fuck up to lose her position is what I'm trying to she say. She just got Mar- old. That's what yeah. happened. Uh, Jade Salmon, uh, I've been the side chick that took the main chick's place. Everything is possible. <laughs> God, Jade Damn. Salmon. <laughs> Here you go. Who's, who's That's Jade? Living who's proof. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, yeah. She's she's fourth. She's a uh, uh, member, by the way. Oh, okay. Shout, shout out to you, Jade Salmon. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, welcome. Side I didn't even know we had a girl member. Yeah, yeah. We got a few. That, yeah, that, we got a few of them. She's been here for for a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, well, Jade, welcome to the fam. I, I didn't even. Well, I mean, I mean she's know. been here for, for a little bit. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Damn, I, for, I forget the female members. Don't I worry, Jay, I, I, I got you. Yeah, I forget yeah. the female members. Put a chat. Hey, yeah, hit me with that. Yeah. All uh, two, all two of you. Yeah, but uh, yeah, all two of you. Um, but okay. So what was I saying? So yeah, it, I think it's just rare. You know what I'm saying? That when when uh, when a guy leaves his girl, especially if he has something good, like well, if anything, what he'll do is he'll just try to like have them both. He'll play a lo- yeah. the long yeah, game. He'll, he'll try t- to have them both. Sell a dream, keep the one with the kids, and because he don't want to lose his money if he gets a divorce, for the most part. But you know what's another thing that's also a problem with that? So, like, those are high-value men. But keep in mind, there's only, like, 10% out of 100 that would actually do their part as the man 
treating the main woman as the woman, even though they had the side chicks. They just meant that they don't know how to actually do that. And they stop providing for the first one or like they lack. And then that's when girls use their intuition to figure out if he's fucking a side chick. It's not that he's fucking her. It's the fact that like he stops doing his part. Well, that's why you were correct about the children. I agree mm-hmm. with you on that. That's why, you know, once you have the kid, that's almost kind of like an insurance policy that yeah. even if he does have uh, another girl, he's typically going to share some kind of resource with you because of the kids. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Man, baby don't stop no show. No, no, no. They, he's still oh. going to smash all the yeah. children. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not, not saying that. In a what I'm saying that. is that, remember, Nina so like was speaking from... a baby from, promotes that but, shit. But you got to remember be. that Nina was, was saying like, hey, he's going to fuck other girls, but he's going to come home to me and or provide for me and the family. And that's what I'm saying is that a child ensures that. Nah, 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 you're yeah. right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He might smash all the chicks, but, you know... They're like, oh, I love my son to death. So, like, <clears throat> they go back to home with the wife and stuff, but they hear kissing and fucking and licking the side chick, <laughs> and you kissing her cootie cat on his lips. <laughs> but yeah, that's but like at that's, the end that's, of the day, that's like fun time to them. Like, at the end of the day, like, uh, the side bad. chick, the side chick is just getting ran through. Yo, She's do y'all not getting anything? Do y'all know nice. when y'all, y'all are side chicks? My chance? Yeah. Do y'all yes. know when you're, when, when you're mm-hmm. a side chick? Hundred yes. yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 Yes, and no. Yeah. Times. I've been I a side chick. So you anymore. always know. I yeah. assume. Let me tell you something. A side chick. Low investment. There's only there's only two ways no, 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 for a no, side no, chick. No, 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 it's whether no, no, they call no. you every time they want to fuck and they don't invest in you, or no, 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 no or no. they treat you like a main even though there's no title. No. That's a many reasons why a lot of girls love being Fact. a side no. chick. Because you feel important still. Side chicks are an outlet. That's exactly what Girl, they are. Girl, some, some side some chicks are an side outlet. Some side chicks but you are, are not an outlet, but side chicks are an outlet either financially, physically, mentally, so or the, whatever. So you're dating a broke No, boy. ain't no, 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 no. So financially if, what? If I'm fucking with a nigga, uh-huh. I'm sorry, if I'm fucking with a man and he has a girl at home <laughs> okay, or a baby mama. Step. If I'm fucking with a man and he has a girl at home or whatever. No, no, say it with your chest, uh-huh. all three of them. All right, if I'm fucking uh-huh. with a nigga uh-huh. yeah, and he ahead. had a girl at the crib, he's breaking bread. And he's breaking bread for a peace of mind. Fuck that. That should he's be breaking movie. bread for physical, like for physical intimacy. Hush, like whatever he's not getting at the crib, he's getting through me. Like <laughs> just because it's like just because he's he he has a side chick doesn't mean he's fucking broke. Like a lot of rich niggas have side chicks. All right, but I'm, he's breaking bed on what? Like I'm about to close. I'm about to close. Right, right. 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 It's not even that. Ladies, ladies, ladies. One at a time. Uh, we're gonna let y'all go. I'm about to close my. Did, did you finish your point? Your vape. Did you finish your point as far as kind like? Of, kind finish of. your point, and then uh, I know Nina want to say something. Miles, slow down. No, just so we go one mic. My thing is, it's like some guys they were like. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like they were they would invest for a peace of mind that they're not getting at home out on the outside versus First of all, you should have never married the chick in the hey, first okay, place. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time. And, and that's not my problem. That's okay. the that's the matrix problem. All right, Nina, you have some? He's investing my, what? Like on a on a flight? A spirit flight? It could be whatever. Bills. <laughs> a spirit spirit flight. time. It could be a light bill. Okay. It could be a car note. It could be whatever. Like But that's nothing. Fuck that noise. That's nothing to him. I'm about to close my okay, opinion. Go ahead, Mike. Basically, I'm just saying, when a man has options, of course he has. Don't think because you're the main chick you don't that the side chick don't come with terms and conditions. Your yeah. terms and conditions is to let me fuck anybody I want to. Same with the side chick. You're going to let me fuck anybody I want to. Both of y'all. Only one knows about the other one and the other one doesn't. Or maybe both of y'all do. You may think you're different because you got a ring and that's true. There's different benefits. But I'm saying like, I'd have been on both sides of the coin and it's it's like almost no difference. Like you letting me fuck who I want when I want to. And because I'm sporting you, like she just said, I'm paying you. Same thing, same thing you said, because I'm paying you too. Both of y'all is going to chill in the roles y'all supposed to be in. It's damn near the same. The only thing that's different is the ring. And that's even if that, because even if I'm the side chick, I got my name. He going to still fund me under my name. Even though he's not giving me the ring, he's funding the things I want to do. I complain. You're not going to be able to play with me and have a side chick all the time. That's okay with everything. I'm probably right. rare. It's a lot of girls who's not going to take that, especially if you don't come with no payment, just like the wife. I'm not going to take no savage if I don't come with no payment and no ring. It's just you have different terms and conditions, but it's still the same. Both of us going to get his sex and we're going to both get his checks. Like, it's just 
a little it's different because of the rings. It's not the same, though. It's not the same okay. because the side chick, as soon as he sleeps with you a few times, he's going to get tired of you. That's a lie. No. No, he's going to get tired of the main chick. That. That's he's, why he got a side chick. Right. The reason why he has a side chick is because the main chick is the one saying that the side chick can't do it. Yeah, but he has the wife to take care of his children. Because she's a proud that, dummy. That's, that's where, why. She's that's a proud where the dummy. heart is. That's where the mind right. is. To put things on But that's not name. where the dick is. Like, at all. Sometimes even the emotions. Like, I even had a, a guy... The, the dick is temporary, though. No, dick is never no, temporary. Uh, no. When If if you're, like, top two, never number two, when, when it comes to a nigga, he's never going to let you go. Period. I mean, I don't know. Do you, do you think you're that top two? I am that top two. I I'm going to be honest. Sometimes these guys be getting She's jealous. She's been doing some stepping, I guess. Sometimes <laughs> these guys... Stepper, big stepper. She ain't playing with him. <laughs> Sometimes these guys get jealous of the side chick being available to other dudes exactly yeah, that's right. a man I've, chick like, I've actually just, had a man be conquering and counting no like. no she's right I actually have a guy tell me that I couldn't fuck with anybody else and he had a whole baby mama and everything like we went through a whole fallout because of it like cause I chose to go on a date with somebody because else because men are possessive by nature so he, you're gonna miss out he's on only other... possessive cause he knew what I brought to the table right Period. so you're gonna miss out on guys just to like stay loyal to him never 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 Right. I never, never said that. I was loyal to him. But he has his <laughs> wife with his kids. She belongs to the street. <laughs> oh, my bad. My finger slipped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, don't, no, I, don't I get, glamorize the no, 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 I'm, no, no, I'm not glamorizing. I'm just, like, trying to, you know. Give perspectives. Let exactly. you know exactly what it is. Like, people try to, like, knock side chicks. But in reality, that's really, like, a, a comfortable position to be in. Like, you don't really have to worry about this guy. Yep. You already know he's for the streets. You already know he's doing this, that, and the third. Like, you know what comes with fucking with him but that's how you end up lonely not necessarily like just because i'm a side chick to one nigga don't mean the ne next nigga not trying to wife me mm -hmm. like right mm -hmm. and it's and once again this is all Who's private nobody knows chick? this stuff like this is like, private you'll stuff. be surprised okay. so ladies ladies real quick i want to get uh the take on the ladies here on the left so um give us uh, i know you have two different perspectives you can go on the let's keep it male to female on this one yeah I'll um, do that. yeah you're limited experience there because i know you don't date the men right like that right Weather? okay <laughs> never mind uh just get, keep it uh side, side chick to guy not side chick to chick yeah yeah okay yeah. and then we'll go red and then we get, got good bow next okay. so, on the video. yeah uh yeah i mean no to being a side chick in general what's your take on that oh uh, okay well do you I agree gonna... with nina's perspective that hey i got the main title so fuck these other hoes or hey uh these other hoes can come in and take your spot and you know Etc. I was going to say something, but it was getting kind of crazy. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> I was going to say, like, the whole thing that you're talking about with the main chick and the side chick, the reason why they keep going back to the side chick and find her so interesting is because they're always with the main chick. Like, mm -hmm. whether we like it or not, people get tired of people. Mm -hmm. That side chick is always going to be what's more interesting, more entertaining. Like, you don't see her that much. You're going to, like, in the back of your head, I guess they're going to worry, like, oh, she's going to see other people. She's going to sleep with other people. So that keeps it interesting. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, when you know you have someone, it kind of makes you care less. Sad to say. The reinsurance could sometimes be bad. That's what you're trying to say. It's yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, for example, if you're with somebody every day, it's like, okay, cool. I know this person. I know that they're with me, so they ain't doing nothing crazy. But mm -hmm. my side chick, I don't know what she's doing. I want to see her. So <laughs> less time I spend with her. But, yeah. And it's mm -hmm. a real thing. Yeah. It's a real. Th I hate to admit it, but it is true. I had to learn it the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> so, so just just so that pe the people can understand is what you're saying. On and let me correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> you're saying that the fact that he has a side chick makes him pay less attention to the main chick. No, I'm just saying that because he's always with the main chick. Yes. Like that's the main chick. Yes. So he's always with her. Like people get tired of people. He's bored. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But you the main chick don't got a yeah. life. Yeah. You don't got a life though. Yeah, but then he talks to other girl. And then he has a side chick. Yeah. So like that's what's going to be more interesting to him. Yeah. Okay. Since he's like not really it's always more, with that's like, draws that one to the side. Yeah, chick. it draws his attention. Like once he's with that, it's like oh, mm -hmm. it's the most interesting thing ever. And then you go back home to what you're used to. Complete, okay. I completely agree. I was in a relationship for like yeah. almost eight years. I was with this guy every day eight and he years. had over 20, 20 like girls. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't mean anything like she's, so, she's right. There was something I wanted to, to say. I just want to make sure I, I got what you said, right? Which I was going to add something to that because you, you made a good point, but I don't, I'll reserve and go last. What, mm -hmm. what about you? Did you finish your point? Yeah. You have anything else? Okay. Would you have anything on this? Um, 
Could you repeat the same thing you told her? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, Chris isn't. Chris isn't there. Stupid. So that's for Chris, and then stupid. And that one's for you. Okay, so no, basically, the, what, what's your take on this with the side chick and the main girl? Do you agree? Disagree? Uh, would you not allow him to talk to other girls? Would you have an issue with that, or would you, you know, would you be cool with it, or what's your take? On okay, this? so I am okay with being a side chick just because I don't like emotionally investing in someone and mm. being at 50 50 that they're not completely invested in me so mm. as a side chick i'm able to see i'm able to know that you're messing around with other people and i'm secure enough to know that what i bring to the table if it doesn't interest you that's fine there's gonna be another man that's gonna you know um <laughs> but no yeah chat side chick is okay all right okay. Yeah. cool mm. This is like the Side Chick Chronicles right now. Yeah, like, this is, this crazy. is this episode of the Side Chick Chronicles. Okay. It's crazy. Can I wow. add one more thing? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Sure. Just, it'd be important for the person to be secure with themselves as well. Correct. Just so that I'm able to do that and have that freedom myself as well. Because I don't find it fair to, yeah. So let me ask you. If you had a guy that saw you as a Side Chick, would you see other men too? Yes. Okay. Would you tell him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Brooklyn? Hey, yeah. So New York. So for one, the video, he was wilding for respect. Like, you're wilding. No. <laughs> for two, um, to counteract to the counteraction to um slow jams about the side chick um having good pussy or whatever the case. Yeah, um, the dude could also go to the side chick and realize, like, damn, your pussy is whack. Like, I'm gonna go back to my wife <laughs> on some shit. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And side chick, I can't really relate because, like, I don't know when you just experience a certain level of respect from dudes. It's like I just can't see myself because when you have a certain respect for yourself, like dudes could pick up on that. Like if you lack certain morals mm -hmm. and stuff for yourself, they're going to be like, Oh no, nah, I want that one right there. Cause she don't, she don't, she don't really know about herself real quick. Let me pick her up real quick. But when a certain lady have, she come through with some like, I don't know. She just come through like, you know, what's up? I'm out here. Like I look good. You look good too, but I look good too, nigga. What's up? Like, I, <laughs> and then it's like, the energy matches but when it's like a lower energy with a higher energy then of course then he's gonna go off and look and i'm not saying high energy girls too like yeah i'm not saying they go against like they can't get cheated on no like but Beyonce. they're gonna try the yeah. dude is gonna try so hard to hide it like he's gonna he's gonna go above and beyond to like my girl can't find out like you better shut the fuck up bitch because my girl cannot find out about that's you i just want to try you out and it, right it's just a little quick fantasy mm -hmm. for the night but i'm sure i'm almost positive that like it's gonna last for that two hours he's gonna find out that your shit whack and he go back to his girl like girl i just had some whack pussy baby i miss you i want to come baby come ride this shit for me nunca but oh, i'm just saying so, uh, would you, well would you uh would you share a guy then? Or would you no, okay? I would not. Not like will knowingly. Like you hiding it. If I if yeah, I really? find oh, so out I like shit though. yeah, you gotta super hide. Like mm -hmm. I'm talking about so super because my intuition is my intuition's on point. So well, you gotta. You like, rather him be shady about it? Yeah, I'd rather him not do it at all. Is what she's trying to say? Yeah, I'd rather him not do it at all. Right. But like if you He's gonna are, do it. Can, what if I not necessarily? Because <laughs> well, if you want me to hide it, if I have sex with her with a mask on, is that gonna work? <laughs> What? No. Like, I mean, will it work? Uh, no. And like. So basically, you want him to do it no, to find out, right? I want, what? Say so it if again? he does it in the dark, it won't matter, right? It won't matter. Nah, there's going to be repercussions. Because if you, listen, y'all know, like, if y'all know y'all could do it and get away with it, of course y'all going to keep doing it. So I'm going to have to do, like, right. you got to, listen, anything you're doing, y'all could do your body. I mean, when there's a mask you, on. You, you, you would never know. Wait, why all y'all got his mask on? Okay. You would never know <laughs> when a guy is mean, cheating on you, yo. We're kind of in area. What you mean? You would never what know. What was intuition? You could tell. Let me tell you something. I done been on both sides, between a side chick and a main chick. You would never fucking know. Trust me. These men lie. Why it's better well, my dude was she and I. They I had a say, I'm I just to my men, mama house. Men are built different. They can literally wake up every day, do the same, sh do the not same routine as if they're not doing anything. Girl, like, you be knowing. You just don't want to deal with the shit. No, 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 no. You don't I, be wanting I, to deal with the shit. No, no. Every you time like, I've known it, when I'm my ex was cheating on me, I was right. But so, at the end of the day, right, I boom, can, I can never pinpoint when he was doing it. It don't matter when he was doing. You know that he was doing that shit. It's just that you didn't want to deal with the fuckery that came with it. 
But at the end of the day, you knew that he was fucking around. Period. All like right, I'm gonna let you add that one. Women's intuition. You knew what was going on. You just was like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to do deal with you him. You just right know now. because that. You once know. he's sleeping Women's around with, other, with another girl. He's low investment. It, it wasn't even when there he was go. sleeping around with another girl. It's when he gave his heart to another girl. That's when I really know. No, like, you knew before. Fucking is fucking. But when you like invested emotionally with another girl and somebody else has your attention, I'm going to feel that shit. But let me tell you, if you mm-hmm. would have said something from the get go, when you felt when you first felt that shit and you said something, you did something. I to, couldn't say something. What? All right. If you took the if you took your power back and did something from there, it would never escalated to him. Right. You keep it real to the next on some real shit. Like mm-hmm. it would have never escalated to that in the first place. But you let it slide because you was just like you want to play. Mm-hmm. I'm tired, or you want to do whatever you want to look to. It's side. not even that. It's it's like I'm I'm real enough to know that even if I would have found out he was fucking with 10, 20, 15 girls, I was gonna stay with him. So why open my mouth and say something? But why because was you gonna stay with him? You didn't. But why you was gonna stay with him? Because mm-hmm. I loved him. I knew I was gonna leave him. So it's like why think... complain about something I'm not gonna leave? So mm-hmm. it's like. But you don't think you're a fucking bad bitch that you would get any. I was a bad bitch. Want. That's like, why I was sliding. That's why I was sliding on you my are. end. You want to say slide? That's why I did what I did on my you want to end. Slide? Slide on you. Like no, I had I had I had my own slider at the time, but I knew not to open my mouth and even come up like, oh, you fucking with this person, or you fuck like. See, I already what knew what's coming. Okay, was. so let's right, talk about sex. Right. Right. You, no, 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 not the ops, man. It's All right, so sex. damn it, man. <laughs> so <laughs> keeping it real, you you was. You were okay shit. what was going on because you, you was doing, doing your, your own shit. thing. I wasn't, yeah. no, no, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't okay. I had to be okay. Because at the end of the day, it's yeah, like, why well, complain about right. some shit? I'm not going to leave. Because to be honest, as fun you as had we, no choice, man. As much I as we. I, I was I was forced to start fucking around. Okay, as much as we talking about cheating and stuff. Wait, why? How are you forced? Like, 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 because listen, <laughs> well, he wore a ski mask when he did it. Cool. Like yeah. he had his shit going you on. You, 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 I was like, hurt by it, so I started sneaking around. You yeah, that's not good. Two wrongs don't make a right. Women so. don't do that. Don't do that every year of life of a nigga cheating on you. Don't. Leave, Do that, please. Just leave. <laughs> I, I yeah. didn't leave. I no. The reason why I didn't leave because I loved him and I knew I was gonna leave him so alone. Make no it matter what happens, like somebody else. If you love him, make it an open there relationship. Why? Why leave a nigga? Why complain about a nigga if I know I'm not going anywhere? Because okay, that's so not why healthy. You don't make why it to an open yeah. relationship. It's not healthy because guess what? Guess what? He it's gonna make you it. too much right. It's gonna make you feel insecure no, as a woman. You only ask, but you know how niggas are. But he cannot handle it. If he can't handle it, well, how you? Ladies, one piece. Time, please. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, okay. Talk. We were going to rob you crazy. guys. Okay. Like, uh, this is not even worth it. Oh, no. it is. It's still it's there. Is you let, even, okay, you let somebody there. cheat on yeah, you? I, I, I right, saw sorry. some dudes downstairs that looked easier <laughs> than this. This is yeah. fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't even want to take it from you. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. Don't take it at all. Yeah, yeah. Like, what all right, all right, Maya, go ahead. I was saying, you let somebody, as much as we talk about it, it's funny and stuff. I'm keeping it real. When somebody cheat on you, a man that you love, you do feel insecure, you feel challenged. And if you do choose to cheat on him too, not saying that you are, but the not saying that people would know because it's private too. It's like, damn, I'm slutting myself out to prove a point. Then on top of that, another thing you need to think about, that's carrier behavior. You might, he might bring an STD home and he it did. don't. He did. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm wait, wait, I'm not done. That. So you insecure, you challenging yeah. other mates, you slutting yourself out, might catch an STD, might bring home a baby and you're going to have a broken heart when you could just you know he did it, he did everything you actually said and that was the lesson that i had to learn right. in my um early 20s so i applied that lesson and you grew now that i'm yeah and i grew like right. period he did everything that you said so right. yeah uh, hvm might cheat on you and all that stuff i said is a byproduct of cheating so if you want to sign up for that understand the terms and conditions like i was going back to if you a man or you a side there's terms and conditions i apply and if, if you're ready to go with that and it might happen do it I'm not gonna sign up for that. I'm gonna try my best to dodge it, and if it happens, it happens. There's some HVM, yeah. HVM men that that don't that don't cheat. That there I, is. I'd rather it, be a wait, side mom. chick before HBM? I be a main chick. <laughs> HVM, I'm like emotional emotional <laughs> customer. I I was a main chick for like over eight years dealing with a whole bunch of bullshit. And when I became a side chick, I was like, okay, now I understand why these bitches be doing what the fuck they doing. It's like you could sleep like a baby at night. Like seriously. 
All right. So uh, that was a lot of uh, apparently some, some robbers came in here and they left. <laughs> <laughs> we caught them on the door on the way out. And they're like, hey, bro, y'all uh, y'all got this one. It's called, like, this combo was scary. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I paid them to do a hit and to get the money. Oh and I literally had to just file a chargeback on PayPal because they couldn't do the job. <laughs> so they're gone. So they apparently sound about you guys arguing about some nonsense. I don't know. But uh, yeah, they left. Uh, okay, so 10 bucks from uh, it's JFE. Y'all wasn't lying. Listen to y'all at work. Even forklift drivers hate y'all. Okay. Oh, God damn. Uh, $10. Uh, Selvo N Cube uh, will 100% die for Nina's cheeks. Okay. Myron, you're not liking Gengar. Just mean you a third rate uh, duelist with a fourth rate deck. Okay, listen, you dumb nigga. Stupid. You, how you, how you, uh, number one, Gengar is Pokemon and then duelist is Yu Gi Oh! So I don't know what you're talking about. And then number two, um, uh, Nina, you want to drop your Instagram? Nina the Pineapple and Nina the Pineapple on OnlyFans. I have a sale for you guys, so go subscribe. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, okay. And then we got uh, Ant Tycoon, Tycoon, 20 bucks. It's showing about uh, 1K plus subs per day, which means y'all are about 18 days away from uh, 500K. Do y'all have the party uh, date set or will y'all set the date after you have 500K? Curious so I can get my itinerary intact in after gangland. We don't yet. Um, hopefully in December we have a date, but we have a venue. Um, just confirmed it last night. Hey, oh, so yeah, it's gonna did. be lit. Nice. At, At a really actual good place. club. Yes. With straight baddies, so it's gonna be lit. Yeah, we 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 uh we're we're taking uh over the party on this one, guys. Last time, <laughs> contrary to whatever else was said, me and Fresh <laughs> did not control the party last time. Nope. I mean, so yeah, this I mean, time, this time I, we, uh, we will. Up as we, I can. Yeah, we're. Con what was that, Chris? No, I was saying. Yeah, it was a mess. Yeah. But uh, but this one we are on a hundred percent control. Actually, Fresh is running the logistics on this one. Yep. Because uh, I don't be outside, and Fresh be outside. The connections, the hoes, the bitches, the yeah. hoes. Yeah. All that shit's gonna be taken. We're gonna, gonna have girls. We're gonna have girls. And, girls. The and the women. Those are for y'all. And the women. And the women. Y'all will, <laughs> women. Women. get to meet the lovely ladies that come I on suppose. the show. Meet them in person. You know, maybe even be. flash your dick to them. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Whoa. But uh, well, yeah, if they're gonna send a picture. Might as well do it in person, right? No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that shit. Uh, and then we got Doc Hancock, 50 bucks, message deleted. Probably made fun of Chris's hairline. Facts. Uh, Eli T, exercising options comes with risks for men losing marriage, children mm -hmm. respect, etc. You have to give him something not to exercise his options to. Give and take. Don't let Myron brainwash you. Uh, that's Eli T. Okay. okay. Um, Next. All right. All right. Yeah. Is that L-E-T? It's probably a girl. Okay. Uh, 20 bucks, Tash Campbell. Hey, Fresh, I've been looking at uh, buying chains for the first time, and I see there's a bunch of different sizes. What's your recommendation? I think the size you have now would be good. Much love to both you guys and the ladies. Yeah, you can start with an 18 inch or 22 inch. Uh, mm -hmm. It just depends on you. If you want it shorter, then go less. If you want it longer, then go uh, higher. But I feel like 18 or 22 is probably the ideal uh, size for you, bro, for most guys. All right. Damn, after those explanations, I'll definitely wife you, Pineapple, and we can do this thing together with the fire next to fresh. With that fire next oh, to fresh, I think, I think you. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, he's saying like he, he would drop your Instagram. He would take Nina and you. Oh, sweet tea underscore ninety eight. <laughs> All right, send your dick pic there to sweet tea. I was like, wait, what? Uh, the Church of Logic. She wins regardless because she got him to bend down and marry her. The other women didn't get that from him. Wonder why? Ooh. Ooh. LP Berserker, ten dollars. I make six figures, and I've had two different side jaunts for many years at the same time, and not once did I think about leaving my main for the side. Okay, okay. King Life, the views don't lie. We the best. You talk about us. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> King Life, bro. Uh, shooting them shots, man. Stay over there. Hey, man. Uh, most super chatted channel August first channel in the sphere with thirty two k uh, viewers, man. Yo, thank you so much, King Life, bro. bro we appreciate bro. you, man. Hey, bro. Hey, All hey, caps, man. You know, it, yeah, he, he he really loves us, bro. And we love you too. Hey, guys, listen, man, if, if people talking about us, it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are here rocking with us. That's all that matters. And also to the guys that make videos on us, hey, man, get your money, bro. You know, we we, we get it. It's a, it's a hustle. It's a grind. All right. Uh, Ken Pachi, 465. My main girl was really religious, and then I got a side chick that became my main chick. Then I went back to the original main chick after a year. <laughs> yep. Uh, $2, bank chow. The word is called outsourcing. Okay. Uh, 20 bucks, the main chick and the side chick are the same until he has to make a choice. Side chicks are replaceable. The main chick is the main chick because she's made herself indispensable. That's fine. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then shout out to Fresh Fit. Well, oh, no, sorry. Uh, 10 bucks, Robert Moreno. Men are ultimately attracted to women who submit to their authority, and women are ultimately attracted to men who create an orderly arrangement with that authority. And then we got uh, very true. Chris Hill, 10 bucks. Side chicks ain't that important to somebody that got a main or a wife. Side chicks get replaced all the time. 
10 bucks crypto hat. Uh, side chicks aren't that special. Guys are just possessive until the side becomes a headache. That's on that. That's it. Then it's on to, then the, it's next on to the next one. He ain't lying. And then Nina, Nina somehow managed to look unbearably cute every time I see every her on time. this podcast. Literally. Something about those bangs, <laughs> that lipstick, and those glasses makes a super attractive combo, and her smile is adorable. Such a pretty girl. Little ba. And she's single. <laughs> and now, she's single now. Yeah. There you go. So go ahead and shoot your shot <laughs> on the market and or send your dick Little pic. Uh, Alec, yo, y'all really be sending the dick pics, by the way, which is bro. hilarious. It was the worst part when they're like, hey, Fresh Myron, look at this. I'm like, no, stop it. I know what it is. Don't show me that. <laughs> y'all niggas are tripping. Yeah. Yeah, don't send us porn, guys. Uh, uh, these chicks looking like Trippy Red out here expecting a top 1% man to wife them. Okay. <laughs> what? Ten, ten, shout out to Trippy Red, man. Okay. Send nation $10. To reverse, it's a body count to a man is like in me being a millionaire. I blew all my ex-girlfriends, now broke, married to you, and you have to financially support me as a woman. How would you feel? Ooh, interesting. Da- Doc Hancock. Cool. I just got muted. I super chat this podcast bucks all the time. Consider this my last time tuning in and super chat. Peace. All right. Centering bye. BS. Bye, nigga. <laughs> okay. He sounds hurt. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> Uh, this may be my last chat for a year. Uh, yeah, guys, Chris is uh, relentless and so are the mods, so they're not going to, you know what I'm saying? I'll be watching from afar, but I'm wishing FNF our undefeated chat and the lovely ladies good achievements and memories. Thanks, Thank bro. You. And then uh, five bucks, uh, uh, oh, oh, 20 bucks. Since Earth uh, is the third planet from the sun, doesn't that mean <laughs> every country in the world is a third world country? And yo, yo, Doc Hancock, bro, hit me up on Instagram, bro. I got you, man. Don't you don't need to feel uh, ostracized, bro. We got you. We got a community over here. You know what I'm saying? We 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 uplift each other. You might have said some crazy shit. Sensitive, nigga. Okay, I mean, I try to hold back for you, but I'm just saying, you know. It's cool, man. Just hit me up on the side, bro. I got you. Uh, Ninja a uh, Ninja X zero zero seven zero. Hit me on Unplug Fit X, X right now, though. I'm I'm working some stuff out on my main account, but Unplug Fit X. That's my backup. I've uh, been watching you guys for a year now. Love it and learn a lot from your content. I've been seeing you guys blow up every time, at, well, everywhere, even TikTok. Believe it from Naruto Gang City Boys. We have facts. Hey, Naruto and we Gang. Been banned off TikTok, and for some reason, people are still reposting us, still, us all though. over the place. I don't know how they're posting us without getting banned, but they, they're posting us still. I, I think their accounts began in trouble, bro. No. But whatever. Uh, <laughs> Tom, just be careful, guys. If you're going to repost us on TikTok, they probably will come after you. Yeah. Tom Chat, after we have Robert Kiyosaki, we now have dial our IQ down to follow these ladies' conversation. LOL. Okay, bro. <laughs> uh, Chris Long, Chris's long ass head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, South Africa, 35 bucks. Just uh, sneaking my forehead in to simp in on slow jams. Fellas, keep up the good work. Thanks. There you go. Thanks, bro. Zentian, 20 bucks. I would much rather be a side chick. Proof these 304s have nothing to offer you, gents, because <laughs> she can't be bothered to do the work you need her to kick her to the streets without remorse. <laughs> One use only, gents, then discard. Okay. God damn. Lady, so I'm, you know, I, I, a quick question, because I got uh, you guys had some, some interesting things you brought up. Uh, do you prefer to be, being honest, if you had a choice, the main chick or the side chick? Main chick. I could play both. No, well, no, what do you prefer? No, no. Damn. I mean, <laughs> be honest. No future. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> Next. Side main. I, I think going. she wants to be the side chick. She just yeah. doesn't want to admit it live on air. Yeah, no, 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 no. I would admit it. Like, it's less stressful to be a side chick, so mm. I would prefer to be a side chick. That's value, though. Not like a throwaway side chick. That's okay. a high value right. side chick. All right, so she Those wants the, long the main chick gets this yeah. trip to the main chick gets a trip to Paris. She gets a trip to Tulum. All right, yeah. fair enough. Tulum is cheaper. Right. Tulum is a lot cheaper, bro. Yeah. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Uh, what about you? I would love to be a main, but side is more. Like you said, yeah. less of a headache. It's less, and not only that, like you want to come off the saw, bench. You saw how you started to say main because main chick. Now we have it that bad. So I like no. I was the happiest when I was a side chick. See, when I was a main chick, it was. I was just... the most depressed when I was the main depressed. Yeah, Girl, I almost got engaged and everything. Hell no. Damn to who? Uh... But maybe <laughs> could be choosing the wrong guy, right? To be his main. That partery. Uh-huh. Come on now. That part. I that haven't plays, heard. That a, plays a part I, in it. That's true, but I haven't heard from a main chick or like I have friends that are like fiancés and stuff that it's good either. Like I know their problems and I know other people's problems and I've been knowing the men's secret. So no, it's not that good. 
So, uh, question, uh, Zofi, uh, when's your next um, movie <laughs> coming out? X Men. <laughs> <laughs> because oh no, so yeah. Show me your nails. Ah, damn. <laughs> and the chrome. You know, I I cut my eyebrow and it started bleeding <laughs> the second day I got these done. Oh. Jesus Christ. It's TMI. <laughs> right, next. <laughs> Slow chance. Main chick. Main chick. Mm-hmm. I already know Nina's. Main. I want your last name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Main. Okay. Oh, can you see my M? <laughs> yeah. Right. So I would rather be the main, but. Um, until I find a man who there's no butts in this. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I already, yeah. Yeah. I already, yeah. Yeah. I already gave my butts. It's too late. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Honestly, thinking about it, I would say side chick because that's the only way your feelings won't get hurt. Yeah. If that's how it's gonna be. Fair enough. Ah! <laughs> I can leave it in the chat. Uh, okay. Shout out <laughs> to, to you, man. McQueen, man. Shout out to you. Um. Okay. So my final analysis on this, uh, you guys all made some pretty valid points. I think. From uh, so well, first I'll give the male perspective. So for the guy, you have to, it's almost you have to damn near main to have a, a side chick, right? And the reason why I say that is because the having a side chick is going to make you incredibly attractive. And I'm kind of going back to what you were saying, as far as like your main girl at some point is going to bore you, right? It is what it is. And when you have a side chick, what happens is number one, you give her a little bit of space. Number two, she doesn't necessarily what you doesn't know what you're always up to. And then number three, it keeps your competition anxiety high because the thing that sucks about women, it's like this deep-rooted fault that you guys have, but it's also survival f- fault, a mechanism, is that you guys need to have constant verification that your uh, significant other is attractive. You guys need it because since you guys are always looking for the best, you need to look at the rest to ensure he's still the best. Does that make sense? So mm-hmm. that's how women operate. I won't fully believe that because I've seen women that they like marry a man. The man gets ugly and fat. She still loves him with his heart. Okay, well, mm-hmm. again, probably that guy probably dick. provides some kind of value to some degree. Yeah. He got so some good dick. He's gonna good still dick. he's gonna need to still provide something. So girls still need to know that you can get other girls, and having a side chick definitely accomplishes that for you. And I always say it. I know this sounds fucked up, but women are always on their best behavior when they know that you have other women and uh, you have other women in line i always say women get in line when they know you have other women in line correct now this sucks because the girl Again, even though she's aroused by it she's gonna she's gonna dislike it and the reason why she's gonna dislike it is because even though it makes her aroused it attacks her security and the thing is is that security and arousal is like a, like a delicate dance you know what i'm saying because if you provide too much security she's gonna lose attraction and arousal for you because you're a sure thing but if you pro- provide arousal only then she ain't going to take you serious. Yeah, She's going to move on to someone that can provide security. So you got to constantly play this tug of war where you're giving just enough security that she feels safe to stick around with you, but you also have to take away that security and still provide the arousal to some degree. So for guys, you have to either A, have a side chick, or B, at least maintain your look and have other girls that are definitely willing to fuck you and she needs to see it with her own two eyes. Yeah, That's how she's going to stay attracted to you. Now on the lady side, I think, personally, if you're the main girl, it's really on you to fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? If he picked you as his main girl, you've obviously accomplished and or uh, Mm -hmm. uh, fulfilled a certain amount of requirements to become the girlfriend, right? So if you're the girlfriend and another girl comes in and takes your spot, that's your fucking fault. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because as a main chick, you should know certain things that the side chick will never be privy to that makes you indispensable. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if he's allowing another girl to come in and take your spot, well, clearly you're dispensable to some degree and you did not provide as much value as you think. Because like I said before, men don't typically, men don't have the same abundance mindset that women do. Even a high status guy is going to stick around with the main chick if, if she provides value because guys, it's very difficult for men to get sex. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of guys operate from a scarcity mindset. I'll just be honest. It is what it is. So if a girl provides enough value, He's going to stick around. Now, I get what you're saying. From the female perspective, being a side chick, you're going to be able to get a lot of the perks. You might not get the first class ticket to fucking Paris, but you'll go to Tulum. Yeah. You'll get a bag. <laughs> you'll you'll still get that boyfriend energy. You know what I'm saying? You're still going to get that security to some degree. And for some girls, that security is enough. But to other girls, that security isn't. They want the main chick at the security level. So it really depends on the girl and what they're willing to compromise on. But I would always advise a girl... 
if you want a man's best, you got to be the main. You have to be the main because the side chick, you are a side chick simply because you don't fulfill his main girl doesn't fulfill one of his requirements, but that can be an, a requirement that isn't necessarily, excuse me. It, it might be something that he wants that isn't a requirement. Does that make sense? So mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. the main chick just isn't as hot anymore, or she's not, um, she's just not a good in bed. Typically it's sexual, right? Nine out of 10 times. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Like you, you could provide the sex, but you can always be replaced by another girl because that utility can be replaced by so many other different types of women. I, so, I I agree with you to a certain extent so, because I feel like merch. certain guys, <laughs> um, I no, everything that you say I agree with you, but I feel like merch, like heavily merch. that certain guys do meet girls at the wrong time. Like I've been told that. Like I wish I would have met you before I met her, mm -hmm. because you literally everything that I want in a woman. But because of the fact that they put in so many years with this girl. They can't really like, and that's another thing. Guys settle a lot. It's not only women. It's really guys that settle a lot. They don't want to leave. They don't want to hurt that girl because they done put in all, all these years and whatever the case may be. The if they're they're the yeah, like they're the father of their child or whatever. They don't want to break that girl's heart. I've I didn't had a guy tell me like, truthfully, I'm his soulmate, and <laughs> cap. Don't say anything. I can't say that. No, I I was They're that nigga's soulmate. I was that nigga's soulmate. I must tell you that. Because the same thing happened he to me. A man was in a whole relationship for seven years. We was in a car talking. And he's like, damn, I need to get this situated because I need you in my life. Like, bro. Yeah. This is what he's telling to a side chick. Not even that because me and him never did anything. But like, he already liked me. But still, like. It's so it, sad it that I keep talking to this to a girl. You guys don't talk about this a lot. Like you guys meet the one that's right for you at the wrong time. Exactly. So it's no, like because I agree with what you're saying, but at the end, at the end of the day, there are certain situations where you guys do meet the one that you really want to be with for the rest of your lives too late. So I agree with that. It's like there's no too no. Late I don't agree with that, that because you, could, you could stop the relationship at part. any time. Uh, that is not true. No, that's that's it's not when investment. you got kids involved. Yeah, you could stop the relationship still I at got, any it's an time. Investment. I got hella men trauma. and men women are like different. When when I men when women are fed up, when when women are fed up, we're done. We don't give a fuck. Marriage, kids. Like, we don't care. We're going to walk out the door. Men are different. Yes, we do. No, no, no. We men, do care. But men are different. They're like, we don't give credit to men, but in reality, they really care for our feelings. They would rather be in a relationship and like, no, don't they fix your face you like this. They, they, they would rather feelings. stay in a relationship Finesse. knowing they're not happy just to not hurt no, their baby not... mama's feelings or their girlfriend's no, feelings to walk it's because out. They want Correction. Their, their child Correction. to have a good mother. Correction. It's not that. Men, okay, so men, when they invest, men are not used to like investing females because before they wife up a girl, they have like 17 side chicks. So as soon as they, <laughs> yes, Wait, so as 17. Soon, so uh, damn, soon, there, there's guys that don't even on. get 17 partners okay. in their lifetime. <laughs> no. man. Like, okay. oh, yo, damn, so I'm going to have to say this, man. Okay. Hold on. Well, I'm going to have to stop like, you real damn. quick. <laughs> like you're speaking from an extremely skewed perspective yes, it, because you're dealing with, it's very clear Talk that you guys. deal with, with a very small percentage of men mm -hmm. and your perception is, is not reality, unfortunately. Okay. So, I mean, I can say, I can see where you're coming from that I'm dealing with <laughs> these types of guys that have these types of options, but most men don't don't have that type of sexual selectivity at all. And then I get what you're saying. What she's trying to say basically is that men are more inclined to stay in a failing relationship than women are, right. which is true, which is true. But I see their perspective as well. And I got to also be honest about this. Guys will tell you anything to keep you on the ropes. Yeah. That's, That's also true. Saying. You get what I'm saying? So they're going to tell you whatever they need to say to get sexual access. You know, I tell you all the time, you women lie, right? Men lie. We, bo we both lie, but they lie about different things. Nine out of 10 times, Men lie to get in your pants or to keep you around after getting in said pants. And women lie to uh, to get in your wallet and or stay in the wallet and stay there long term. Hey, women sell purity. Men sell success. Right. I'm a good girl. Wife me up. Blah, blah, blah. Guy, I'm a successful dude. Pick me. You know what I'm saying? So the, the two <laughs> genders are kind of capping about what, what, what they're necessarily selling. Right. Mm, right. Well, you know, when men are selling, like I said, success women are selling purity. So. So with all that said, guys are going to say certain things what are they going to sell 
tell you, success and security. No, man, if I didn't have this fucking chick at home, I'd be here with you. You're the one, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And they'll keep saying that to you and you'll believe it. And, and, and I, I, you know, I get it. Guys can, can lie and be manipulative and everything else like that. But also let's be honest, women like to imagine things into women like to really like sit there and, uh, What's the word? Manifest things. Shot like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all are, 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 are fairly delusional creatures to some degree. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Like your emotions control your your emotions control your actions to a, to a significant level. So if the man makes you feel a certain way, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm special. I feel like I'm really the main girl. It's Merch. just not the right time. Merch. Right. Facts, though. Right. Facts. I feel like you're going to go ahead and sit there and make a. Uh, you're, you're going to make Story. excuses for him. Mm -hmm. You're going to hamster in your head that, no, I'm really the main chick. It's just that he didn't meet me soon enough. No, mm -hmm. it's not that, that he didn't meet you soon enough. He met seven of you. It's just mm -hmm. that this girl prior did something Thanks. that made him invest mm -hmm. a significant amount in her. Because if he really wanted to leave, he would divorce her, mm -hmm. find yep. a way to keep his kids and be with you. Mm -hmm. But he's not doing that because that woman provides the utility that he's not willing to give right. up for Can you. So that, that's also the, the, this is my oh, question. Oh, oh. Like, well, you don't. You're not in that situation for me to even ask you. But it's like, why? Why what? Because like, why can't you guys just be open and honest with the main person that you're with and say, hey, you're not satisfying me here, there, and there. I'd rather be out. Women can't open. handle the truth. Yeah, yeah. facts. That's, think about it. I can. People, people yeah. period, like, though. When you, first, when you first came on this Damn, podcast, right? Like, when you came, first came on this podcast, I said a lot of things that triggered you, that it triggered a response. And your innate response was, "Let me. I'm going to respond with emotion. I'm not going to respond with logic. We could play back your thing. You know nah, you good, you good. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you say and, that. And, 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 <laughs> but, but, but the reason why is because the reason why so many women get shocked when they come on this pod is because for the first time, sometimes for the first time in your life, kind of you're boring. hearing... Well, no, not that, Chris. But you're 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 hearing <laughs> the male perspective, and you're hearing about all your faults. You're not hearing about all your benefits. You're not hearing that you're beautiful. You're not hearing that you're gorgeous. You're not hearing that you're a queen just because you're you're not hearing a it's bunch of fault. validation. You're hearing uncomfortable truths that society shields you from, and men aren't allowed to speak on openly, and is being told to you in your face real time. So a lot of girls, the knee-jerk reaction is, fuck you, asshole. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm not going to sit here and tolerate this shit. No man has ever told me this. But what the fuck? But then when you let it sink in a little bit and you think about it, I connect a lot of dots for you on failed relationships or whatever it may be. And I'm giving y'all just a real raw perspective. And the reason why is because women don't handle the truth well. And if you don't believe me, look at fat girls. We don't sit there and say, hey, you bitches are fat. What do we say? Plus size. Curvy, big, uh, uh, love you, girl. Oh my queens. god, <laughs> love, body acceptance, Shut all this queens. other shit. I'm <laughs> thick, I'm juicy, whatever oh. insert, whatever buzz term you want to use here. But notice, we don't have any of these terms for men. And here's the other thing that's hilarious a woman's value is based on her beauty, right? What? Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, unfortunately, yes. When it comes to the mating perspective, yes, no, a woman's value is based on her beauty, yeah. A man's value is based on his success. Mm -hmm. I don't see anyone running around about monetary positivity. Hey, I know you live with your mom and you're a fucking bum. You smoke weed every day. But you're but killing you know it in life. You're killing it in life, baby. You're killing life. Monetary positivity, Good brother. Good job. All right. Accept you're him. Trying. You're trying. You deserve a bad bitch. It don't mm. matter. Yeah. Just yeah. accept you. No, but we sit here Get some and kids. we make consolations for women, on the other hand, and we say, Hey, love your curves, even though you're fat, <laughs> obese, annoying, loud, annoying. <laughs> annoying ass chick, because you're a queen, you deserve it, blah. So <laughs> if true. anything, reality, like if anything, society does everything oh, it can God, to shield funny. women from reality because women cannot accept reality. Because mm -hmm. Which... if you tell a girl you're overweight, mm -hmm. what's she going to do? You're body shaming me. You're an asshole. Blah, blah, blah. But if you tell a nigga, you're broke, you're a bum, uh, well, yeah. fuck you, ho. He's not really going to argue. He's like, okay, well, yeah, you're right. Up, right. You're right. right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so you're saying, and, and I say all that, I just needed to bring, show you the magnitude of how much we lie to women to bring it full circle and tell you this. That's why we can't tell you the truth because you guys can't even accept things that are right there in your face. I I yeah. personally can, so I'm gonna ask you one thing. What do you guys? But I'm saying no, no, no. in generality. Okay, women okay. can't. In general, what do guys 
want out of a woman? You, Myron. Me personally? You personally and speaking for your, your, your I'll viewers. I'll speak generally for men. Okay, Tip, generally for men. Sexual access, compliance, submiss submissiveness, someone that's not going to cause a headache piece. And, you know, a woman that have, doesn't have a past. That's what most okay. that's you'll be happy. You'll please 90% of guys with just that. And head. Past. And head. Aaron, this is not for you. Elaborate. Like the car fact. She can't have been a hoe and I'm uh, committing to oh, her. Oh, okay. She can't have all But even if she either. has all of that, would you still have a side chick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it doesn't matter what we do then. Yeah. No, it, the, but it does. That, 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 that goes, that goes to the point that I was saying guys like to have a taste for variety. Like. They just then like they new shit, commit. new pussy. It's but not variety. Want, when a man to... want a night, he got it's like a it's a scratch, man. It's not no variety. <laughs> it, it doesn't take away from him loving you or everything. Like well, she's him. a lesbian, she don't get it. <laughs> yeah, she she got. I am bi. Really? Bi. Yeah. You, ride a, you ride a bicycle? What? <laughs> Fresh, please, <laughs> please, uh, please. So, but yeah, no. So that that's why men don't tell women the truth, and I, and I had to like kind of show you the broader scale of why men don't tell the truth because society doesn't even tell women the truth. Yeah. So if society doesn't even tell women the truth, you're gonna look at me like fuck you, bro. The government tells me I'm healthy. So it, it, <laughs> doesn't, know, ma it doesn't matter where I work at, how much money I bring in, like nope. how successful I am, like how independent wrong I am. Traits, wrong traits, wrong sex, traits, wrong traits. Sex, it don't matter. Submission and what no. else? Compliance, so compliance, being pleasant. Like, here's the thing. I'll use this analogy. If I dressed well, right? Let's say I'm your boyfriend or your husband or whatever, and I dressed well, yeah. and I always was on point, you would appreciate it. I would. Right? <laughs> but it wouldn't be a deal breaker if I didn't. Right? It wouldn't yeah. be a deal breaker. If I still brought money home and I was uh, masking or whatever, and I decided to wear sweatpants all over the place, you probably wouldn't, you probably wouldn't leave me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But... If I decided to not pay the bills anymore and be a bum and start acting like a girl and be feminine, you'd be like, OK, I'm fucking leaving. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is that me dressing well is not really significant towards the relationship. That is exactly how a woman's income works as well to a man. It's great that you have it. It's a plus. I like it, but it is not significant to the relationship where I'm going to get rid of you because you uh, don't provide. It's great that you bring it in, but it's not, I'm not going to leave you. Like if a woman loses her job, right? And the guy already makes enough. Let's say she she has a career, whatever, and the guy already makes enough money for both of them. Or even if he doesn't, he needed her income and she loses her job. He is not going to fucking leave her more than likely because of her losing her job. All right. But if you reverse it and that woman is supporting him and he can't get a job, that time clock is fucking ticking. That's the difference. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So a woman's success is simply an auxiliary. A man's success is a requirement. There you go. Okay, real quick, we'll do switch out some questions for the girls because uh, you guys have been quiet the whole time. You two as well. <laughs> well, I yeah. think she had something. Uh, did you have something besides that? Like uh, earlier, I don't think we're talking about that no more. I was just gonna say. Go ahead. Ooh, I was gonna say about what you said about how men try to spare emotion and feelings. Yeah. I would just. I don't think that's necessarily right. I guess for some, I see it more as they're just trying to um, keep the stability of the family or mm -hmm. the girl they had for so many years because yeah. they're scared it's not only that like change is scary for everyone it's more than guilt honestly but like, it's also it's also men invest a lot of time and money like he said men do a lot of this with their wallets the same way girls does it with the looks and nurturing and stuff so men are like hell no like i pay for this i've been with the chick for years nah like i'm not gonna leave her even though i still want to like have the options out there like he would just he would not leave just because of the kids or because he'd been there for way too long and he invested already what he has. And also, if you told you the truth, right? Think about this. You can handle it, but he doesn't know if you can really handle it. Let's say it's her. Because your tolerance is pretty high. But he may say, you know what? Damn, I got a side chick. Should I tell her now? It's been 10 years inside the relationship. I've been with her. I paid for school with the kids. I've done this and that. Bought her a car. If I tell her this, she might leave. All the money and time I spent invested in this relationship might be down the drain. So I'm going to do what I do. If she finds out, fuck it. But if she doesn't find out, I'm good to go. I mean, like, men are like that. Like, literally, the guy that I was messing with, I went out on one date and he cut me off. Of course. Like. Yeah, literally. I was cut off. Like, literally for six months, I was fucking crying, snot and shit. Like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> I'm single. You're the one with the fucking baby mama. Like, what, what you got going on? So it's like, it's, it's really like that. Yeah. It's Why was you crying? 
Because I loved him. Like, it's like, I thought we had an agreement. Like, you got your bitch. We, me and you have this thing that we got together. I, would I can never. do whatever the fuck I could, I could do on the outside. But in reality, mm-hmm. I found out that I could not step out. Mm-hmm. And he had, like, a limit to what we had going on. I have a question for you. Didn't you say you wanted to be a side chick in order to not cry? Right. No. <laughs> no. 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 Zombie. I did. No. 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 Body I, shot. Like, Zombie. Right. No. That oh, was. She that was. Toucher. That was yeah. like my. <laughs> that was like my first time messing with a guy that had a girl. Like that was. I was Stop new to everything. <laughs> no, there ain't no cap in my rap. Yes. I was new to everything, and I didn't know. It. Like even I, I was like, "Why are you mad you for? You got a whole baby what mama." Didn't like know. I didn't know he <laughs> he was entitled to have those type of feelings. Yes. Like you got a bitch. It should be. <laughs> it should be nothing if I go out on a date. What are we it talking about you crying, I, not him getting mad at you. Then you crying. Why would no, because cry? I loved him. So it's like, why are you, you hurt? You loved him. I did. What if you loved love him? Why and that's what people. Fresh said earlier. Y'all be loving and fucking these wrong ass niggas. No, you're, True. you you're, can't fall you're in right. love. True. You're right. It's choices. You're right. Look, it is choices. This, all boys on the choices. Look, you guys stay in Miami. It's not. It's just like it's I stay in Miami. I'm not I'm not I'll say yo. this right. Your options are very limited. It's look, very limited. And, and, and if, with him, if you choose a guy, I was in love with him spiritually, mentally, like mentally, emotionally, but not realistically. Physically. Not no, but realistically, not physically, okay. just sleeping this with other guy, people. He was my best friend. Okay. So, okay, okay. But right. I fell right. into love after we one second. We get it. Okay. No, just real quick. I get it. I was in love. Let's get everybody involved, though. Really? Okay. We got the violin. All right. So uh, just real quick. We got uh, Le- Leonard uh, OG Beery. 20 so bucks. Lovely. lovely is not so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Venom 233. French fries are good. Eat them before the burger, during the burger, and even after the burger. Nothing wrong with being a French fry. Okay. Venom, shout <laughs> yeah. out to you. Mr. Ten dollars, Williams. Mr. Williams. French fries are so important because y'all don't mean anything. We drop a fry on the ground. Eh. Get some more drop that, that burger. I'm going to lose my shit a little. It's okay to be a French fry, but burgers. What the hell is the like, analogy? I mean, the whole it's, story. It's, it's a funny, story. but it's fact, so. Whiskey yeah. Sigma, 20 bucks. Brittany, Re- Le- Brittany Renner levels of coke coming from these side chicks. If you're still single, it's because these dudes decided they could live without you. Get the fuck out of here. That's, That's my problem. choice. That's right. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. So. I mean, like you guys could take the advice or whatever, but that's I'm giving you the honest male perspective. Guys aren't going to be honest with you about what they want in a relationship because number one, women can't handle it. Number two, they know you're going to react adversely. And then number three, and most importantly, they're going to lose a sexual access. If a dude looked you straight to your face and said, listen, I got a whole other bitch. I really love her. I only want to use you for lace, for fellatio and then sex on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Fellatio. <laughs> you know, it's, you're going to look at him and be like, uh, okay, um, uh, what? And uh, nope. And you're gonna walk away, and he's not gonna get that box. It depends on the nigga. It okay. Depends so on the guy. anyway, going back to what I was saying, <laughs> you know, so that's why men aren't gonna be honest with you. Now, we're telling guys to be honest. I think hopefully more guys will be honest and tell girls. But the thing is, is that he's got to be comfortable with the fact that you're more than likely going to leave leave him because most girls are not comfortable sharing. They're just not. Which is why, and most guys know this. They don't want to fuck it up. A guy's job when he deals with a woman is, is to build rapport and yeah. get laid. You know what I'm saying? So most guys don't want to break rapport and fuck up what they got. So they're not going to tell you the truth. It's not in their best interest sexually to be honest with women when women don't take the truth well. Y'all just don't. You just don't. You're not You're not built to take the truth I, well. I agree with that. But I'm going to piggyback off of what you said. If you really want that girl, you need to be honest. That's it. Cool. That is. But but they're not gonna because they already be. got the girl they really want. That's the that key. Part. Yeah. That's the key. So uh all right. Chad Ellett, all these women on the show are a Kobayashi Maru. What, what is that? What? The, translation. The, the hot dog eater. That sounds like anime. The hot dog I know eater. Japanese, but I never heard that word. Kobayashi is a championship hot dog eater. I think oh. that's what he's referring to. Uh the two girls on Lovely trying to uh, try, trying to show their side chicks energy. Okay. Leonardo Ochi <laughs> Biri. <laughs> and then little Ba, 20 bucks, just hoping for the super pretty and intelligent Nina to blow another kiss or two into the mic with those beautiful lips. It's music to my hey, ears. Oh, God. Nina, they want to. <laughs> they love you, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been like, find it on OnlyFans. There you go. Uh, all right. And she's having a sale. If a woman is single by choice, it means she has no choices or her so-called choices won't choose her. 
That's In a lie. In other that's words, a, very big lie. a, a lie. woman that's single by choice is either useless or just a side chick. Well, I think what he means to say is she's single because a man that she wants hasn't chosen her. Fuck that part. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll agree with that. Uh, yeah. Some yeah. more. Sorry, fresh. Some uh, more. We got uh, Stanley Yelnuts. 20 bucks says zero. Oh, Stanley Yelnuts. Adonis. Adonis. 1670. Hey, Devani Red. I'm needing a pineapple. I like to eat. How many times a day do you wash it? <laughs> wow. Bruh. Yeah. Bruh. Come on now. Three yeah. times. All right, man. Twice. So, what? Twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time. DMs on demand. Get Morning, back. Morning, afternoon, and night. Of course, it's closed, by the way. Of course, it's closed. Yeah, of course, um, it's closed. So, we'll do like a speed on here, right? So, each person has a question, and everyone has to answer it yes or no, or whatever the two options are. So, for example, I can say to you, who here has cheated? Yes or no? Yes or no? Vice versa, any question that you want. How about that? Okay. Right. Let's go. And real quick, guys, just so y'all know, I, I didn't want to make this announcement, but I guess I will. <laughs> I don't have control of my Instagram, guys. Unplug fit the one that just got verified yesterday. Yeah. Say so it, it got hacked. I'm trying to get it back, but that, I have, that yeah. is not me on there. I would never try to sell y'all <laughs> fucking. Uh, oh, just come to me. I'll get you verified. Like, yeah, you bro, me. Nah, <laughs> he's getting it back, but yeah, right now that's not him using. That's not Instagram. me using it, bro. So Unplug fit day, right now. All day uh, uh, outside of the Patreon post, that was the last thing I posted. So yeah. everything else, guys. Uh, from oh, Chris. Er earlier today, since like six p five p.m. The screenshot, Eastern yeah, Standard yeah, Time. Wow. That's not that's not me, guys. So this current story is not Myron, so don't fall for it. Um, well, the last two stories aren't mine. Aren't yeah, last, yeah, last two. Yeah, so, last one was a Patreon one. That's how y'all know it's me. But this, yeah, bro, my my shit, uh, guys, has been compromised. Important facts. Whenever you're on Instagram, especially when you're verified, yeah, that is not Myron. That's not me, bro. I would never tell y'all that, bro. Always have on. You can tell from the way it's written. Yeah. <laughs> if you want your players verified like mine, it's a little feet, but yeah. Like mine's so, low. But, but also, I would never tell y'all that. Quick tip: if you're on Instagram, make sure you have and the post before that wasn't me either. Yeah, two-step authentic authentication because if mm -hmm. he had that on, it wouldn't happen. But yeah. in hindsight, we we didn't know. So that being said, he's getting his page back no matter what. But right now, that's not him. That's yeah. the video that's gone. Yeah, that viral. was the last one that we did. Yeah, Join Patreon, patreon.com slash fresh fit. Yep. Uh get us uh, we're almost we're almost at a thousand guys at our goal. So uh get us there, man. And uh yeah, I didn't want to have to bring that out, but yeah, guys, yeah. I got I got hacked. It sucks. <laughs> the true hurts. It is what it is, man. But yeah, guys, that ain't me, man. So yeah, sorry. Cool. Uh all right. Uh what else do we got here? So lightning round questions. Yeah. And we'll let everyone participate and you can lead us off with, with your question. Okay. Um, I would say if the person that you were with that you were like completely in love with cheated on you, would you stay or would you not stay? Mm. And you know, we'll add a caveat. You can say yes or no, add a story. There has to be a story about that topic. Wait, so just so say wait, wait, the repeat question. the question. One more time. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh God. If you were... She's really bad at communicating, guys. Give I her am... some slack. I'm yeah. Trying. I've noticed that. You got it. Mm -hmm. um... You got this. If the person that you were with that you were like completely in love with cheated on you, would you stay with them or not? Yes. I would. <laughs> did, it, did it happen before? No. Okay. Good bow. What? <laughs> would you stay with him? No. Uh, oh. oh, um tw <laughs> the, the twenty <laughs> the twenty five and twenty six year old me, yeah. The thirty one year old me, no. Nope. <laughs> Bam. Nina? Yeah, I would. You just gotta be honest about it. Okay. And jump only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, so then? No. Nope. Would you? No, it has happened nope. before. Mm -mm. When you let it slide, it continues, and then they start lying about many Skip, other skate. things. Says no. I mean, he uh, let That's it slide me. though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was all right. Uh, when I'm in love, I'm a sucker. So yes. Exactly. You be you be simping. <laughs> I, yeah, I do. All right. Exactly. Yeah, if I'm in love, yeah, I'd let him. Yeah, I'd be okay with it. Okay, me personally, What's no. Love God, you? Do. Uh, no, and fresh, no man. No, but you guys are men. Forget. It's different. Huh? So you can forgive, forget fresh. Yo, if I had a main chick, right, and I know for a fact she cheated, that to me is like a punch in the stomach because think about this: all I require for the most part is loyalty. Yeah, if you can't do that simple, simple thing, then. What are we together for? But what if you were lacking? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if, what if you weren't taking her out or probably like being attentive to her when it comes to her emotions and stuff like Still. that? Talk about it. <laughs> Figure like, that shit out on, on yourself, but don't the do it. The same way with females. Yeah. Now yeah. females got it. So why can't you take that advice? Huh? The, why can't you saying. take that on? You mean that, being a man? Yeah. Like, why can't you take the own, what you just said mm -hmm. to and apply it to yourself? 
like the other way around. Because not cheating. Le- that right. you're lacking on your own part, but then you feel, but then you guys say that's on us, on the main chick, to not lack, to not you know get replaced and shit. But because if you're lacking, so 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 the question is, why don't I figure that out about myself and not cheat? <laughs> no, yeah, like, what you just instead said? of cheating, work on yourself is what they exactly. Saying. But you're like, oh no, she she better deal with it, like. Basically, because, well, you can cheat because and she can't. loyalty for men and women are two completely different things. Pretty oh. much, like your loyalty, literally being submissive to me and understanding. Hey, you know what? I'm the only date. Like, sorry, you're the only date that I'm gonna hop on, and that's under, like uh, it's like an understanding. My loyalty is security for you and saying, you know yeah. what? I got you when you need help. If you need, if you need security in terms of like bills, pay all that shit. Like, I'm, you're my main chick. That's taken care of. So if you go and cheat, nah, bro. That's like you're you've lost interest so much that like. You're emotionally gone, gone at that point, and we're not together anymore mentally. Can I ask a question? Yeah. This is like a serious question. What? Have you ever had like a side chick? Yeah. Come on. Why? Don't you follow this why thing? do you guys <laughs> expect um, wait, wait, side you mean, chicks? Wait, you mean a chick I was taking serious and a side chick, or just like a it, whether side you chicks? would take her serious or whether she was just a side chick? Side mm-hmm. chick. Why do you guys expect the side chick to stay faithful? Mm-hmm. Like you guys, like, because I've had certain guys tell me I don't want you to fuck with anybody else. Mm-hmm. Why do you guys want that from a side chick if you guys already have a main chick? I can hold you. That's a finesse. I'm not possessive. If I want a chick side or not, I don't want you fucking other niggas. Now, are you gonna do that? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But for the most part, if I could just tell you offer it with some game or maybe sell you a dream, so finesse. you don't do it, I'm gonna yeah. do that. Yeah. I don't want you fucking other niggas. No. Are you Finessa Finessa? Yeah. It's called silent polygamy, guys. Come on now. Y'all don't, yeah. y'all, I know y'all fuck with future. Like, y'all know future. Like, so yeah. how you Finessa I don't want Finessa? Nah. And, well, and, and honestly, well, Fresh, you didn't even have to answer that because here's the thing. Rewind the show like four what? minutes. <laughs> you said it yourself earlier. When you when you had that dude and you were a side chick, you wanted to go and entertain other guys, but you couldn't. Yeah. yeah. And the reason why you couldn't is because a woman's biology literally, it, like when you find a mate, that you you deem as the best, you can no longer look at other guys the same. Mm-hmm. Women's eyes start to stray when the dude isn't on his on his shit. When right. he's on his shit, you can't you can't even fathom having sex with and or even looking yeah. at other guys. So here's yeah. the thing: the reason why a guy has a problem with you fucking other guys is because he knows that if you're fucking other guys, it's over, it's done. It's the it's the highest level of disrespect because you guys are not built to sport fuck like we are. No. That's what it is. We're not equal. We're not the same. We're very different. Mm-hmm. And we're receptive. And and the thing is, is that guys know deep down a chick ain't gonna she's gonna be fiercely loyal to you sexually, especially if she likes you. That no, that's the reason why I wanted to ask that question. I was like, I honestly genuinely wanted to know because I really was like You already proved it for us. No, I did. Like I didn't want to fuck anybody else. Like I didn't give a fuck who you fuck. We could have had like 10 holes on the side. Like I was satisfied with him. But I just wanted to know, like, why? Here's the thing. Women <laughs> want equality until it's actually given to them. And then when you guys see the responsibility and the authority that actually comes with the responsibility that comes with it, y'all don't want it because fucking with all those other guys is going to open you up to liabilities. It's going to open you up to disease. It's going to open you up to other but drama. It's going to open you up to Babies. potentially losing that guy. It, it's not that, Myron. So it's it's not- like, how come we can handle stuff and you guys can't yeah because stuff we like All we can handle stuff. guys talking to 10 different girls 16 even 20 to 50 different girls but you guys cannot were you handle that <laughs> shit. i answered it earlier this were you listening please pay attention pay attention i literally said it earlier <laughs> you Y'all just need to put your pants as up. a woman okay need validation from your colleagues other women to know that your guy is it your dude that you were dating before had a baby mom nobody know about him so what do, you can't speak on me you said it you, a you lot said of, it with I, your own I, hold on hold on okay. be quiet for two seconds and listen okay, you okay, don't okay. listen very well All it's right. a bad habit it's a really bad habit i've noticed oh that about you God. you said it with your own two lips <laughs> he had a whole baby mama and I stayed with him and I was loyal and I couldn't have sex with other guys. I did. What you don't know. Oh, and did you feel terrible about it? No, I didn't. You didn't? But nobody knew did about ju- it. Did you not just say you you didn't have sex with anyone? No, I didn't. I like, but I I I willingly chose that. <laughs> Your eyes lie. We're not judging you. We're not judging you. No, no, no. no. I'm not, not saying you're not judging me. Like I willingly yeah. chose that because like that's who I love. That's who I was comfortable with. Like, nobody really, like, satisfied me but him. So it's not something that I went out and so I told out, the world. So did you step out on him or not? 
No, I only went out on a date with a nigga. That's the okay, only thing so I did. Have, so you didn't have yes. sex with someone else? No. Okay. Technically, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. What is technically? Like, what is that? So she dick. Okay, I went, what does that mean? Look, okay, I'm gonna tell you. I Dry went out on the date. Uh-huh. He got pissed off. It's when he, it's when he got pissed off that I went on a date that I went out and did what I did. What did you do though? Like, I had what, sex with him. Like, fucked. so, so you, you did have technically that you didn't no, cheat. No, Bef- no, no. Before I, I, I can't cheat on a nigga I don't belong to. So, nah, but you nah, just said sis, you didn't have right now. You listen, listen. Right, no, 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 listen, lovely, listen. Lovely, lovely. No, no, no. Lovely. Wait, 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 wait. This shit getting aggravated. Chris, you Chris. are a bad liar. No, I'm yeah. not a bad liar. Every time you lie, you <laughs> go to the fucking left like this. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. I swear. Listen, wait, I to told a story. To to I was Mexico. messing with another guy when I had this guy. Like, mind you, he had a girl. I was his side <laughs> chick. I went on a date. Okay. He got pissed off because of the fact that he Chat. got pissed off on the date. Watch your eyes. Go ahead. <laughs> the no, next time, anything, Aaron, the next gotta... time when I linked up with that guy, I did, you know, up. do whatever I wanted to do because I felt like I had the free Sex. will to. You fucked. Okay, you yeah. fucked. Okay. Okay. On the lane, so, on and the... I fucked him. On the lane. Okay. <laughs> but the first time, it like, we didn't have any type of transaction. But mind you, I told this guy, I was like, yo, look, we linked up. This is what happened. This, that, and the third. And he got mad. And I was confused why he got mad. I was like, why are you mad? And you got a whole baby mama at the crib. Like, you should be mad that because I'm doing Because he knew you boys. probably fucked that other guy. That's why. And why would anybody want to hear if I'm sexually involved with you? Why would, why would I even want to hear about you being sexually involved with anybody yeah. else? And I, le- and I learned that. And I learned that. But like even him. in real life before doing it. Before, I don't want to hear wait, somebody. I don't know. Wait, wait. I, thought, I thought guys who had like main bitches could handle shit like that. Okay. Unfortunately, no, nobody wanted to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that shit. I didn't know that. T-Mai. I didn't know that. You did know that before you did it. No, I didn't. Nobody I, wants to hear that. Honestly, that. Honestly, nobody wants to hear that. Honestly, that shit. I didn't because nah. we've had several conversations about being intimate with other people and me going out on dates. It's actually when I went out and did it, it became an exactly. issue. Right, right, exactly. Wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. So, yeah, so her end. She's saying, okay, you know, he has so much abundance that she thought she wasn't all that. So when she stepped out, say, you know what? It was a a minor deal because he was doing his thing. So... I do get what you're coming from, but now mm-hmm. you know you She was mad up. if she wanted to get even. But All wait. Right, fair. But, I, I didn't. You're right. Yeah, she was mad if she right. wanted to get even. <laughs> right. But, but, but on some real, though, that. but wait, on some real, though, like, a whole dude could finesse you, making you think that he cared. He probably didn't even care that you fuck. Like, he's nah, he doing cared. that to make you... He, he probably cared. just did that to make you feel like, you know, you're no, special. He cared. So he cared. I like but I don't, I don't understand why after that... <laughs> Come on, he cares. real right now. He, you think he, he probably just... To make you feel special, like, he's still oh, in the picture, so he cares. Okay. I don't understand why okay. he's still in the pussy, so we don't care. He like like Myron. Ladies, said, right, what did uh, you so, just say, so, Myron? No, okay, because, right, and that's the problem. You're not listening. <laughs> what I was saying was simply put: you have an issue with guys not being able to handle girl like girls stepping out or having sex with other dudes. Yeah, because men don't like to share pussy. It's not easy for guys to get laid. It's 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 difficult. So they don't want to share their hard earned resource with other dudes. They just don't. Women, however. You guys need a cosign from other women to know your guy is desired. And whether you want to accept it or not, the fact that he had a baby mama made him more attractive to you. You might not know it openly, but you definitely subconsciously subconsciously know (laughs) that this man was attracted to some degree because someone else cosigned on him. If I invite you, let's say we meet at a club, right? Not a mariachi club, though. <laughs> Wait, mariachi, I thought we did. I thought we did some mariachi, mom, though. What's going on? I should have to know <laughs> Let's say I meet you, right? At uh, let's go into a dream world, right? Real quick. So we're going to a, a, a fucking land. We're not in Mexico. We're in the United States. Shout out to all my Mexicans out there, man. So, and I and I meet you, and I'm like, hey, what's up? What's your name? Blah blah. We talk. Hey, listen, I'm having a party tomorrow. You need to come through. All right, it's gonna be lit. And you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Can I bring my friends? I'm like, yeah, sure. Bring your friends. You get dressed well. You show up. You guys are hype. It's a mansion. You show up and you open up that door and you're like, there is a bunch of guys in here. 50 dudes and like two chicks. What are y'all doing? You staying or you leaving? I'm leaving. It depends on how many tequila they got. (laughs) In other words, she's leaving. (laughs) It depends on the men that are in there. What? Like what they look like and shit. Oh. Wait, but it's but it's like fifty of them and you and five of your girls and no chicks there. It's just beer mine. So it's just I'm the niggas one for there. them to get their info from. What's good? It's just dudes. All right, Maya, you leaving? 
Yeah. Nina? Yeah, okay. I'm out. Brooklyn? You know that, I'm out. Might have robbed the place before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you no. at a sausage festival? Do you Stupid. say you go? You link yeah, it's a you, sausage. Fest. You met a guy. He invites you to a mansion party. You show up, and it's a bunch of dudes in there. I'm. I'm not. I'm be honest. I'm not leaving. I'm not. I'm... Yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> we could tell no. I said the vibes. I don't. No, you leaving. You leaving red or are you <laughs> staying? Honestly, if I feel safe with the dude, I'm. I don't mind. You staying. just met him at a club the night before. Oh, yeah. And there's. I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would leave. I'd be yeah. scared. Yeah, you would leave too because your first inkling was how much tequila do they got. So, uh, no, I mean, <laughs> where your mind's at. so anyway, so now let's reverse it. All right. You show up and there's a bunch of chicks in there, attractive, 50 girls, right? And there's some guys in there as well, but there's girls there now, a lot of girls, baddies. You staying or leaving? I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm out you. I'm staying. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm staying. Uh, I'm leaving. Okay. I'm no, it's not Cap. It's like, I'm leaving. Anyway, he said it's a fucking party. Do you, you obviously there's going to be women there. If if my if my girls are not the life of the party, we don't need to be there. Okay. Anyway, moving back on. <laughs> Most women with common sense would stay with the story of the former and then leave with the latter, right? And the reason why is because when you go in there and you see other girls there. What's been a, a, a light switch was turned on in your head that, okay, this guy is not a psycho. You know what I'm saying? He's not like weird. He's not on some like creepy shit. He was able to get members of my gender who I know are selective and they co-sign on him to some degree. So I'm going to stay and allow this man the opportunity to continue to talk to me because he is pre-selected. You're in a, a club. You look in the VIP. There's a bunch of chicks in there. Little Wayne has a VIP. A hundred girls are trying to get in there, knowing that it's going to be tough as fuck to get in there. Why do they fight to get in there? Because they know that this man is pre-selected by other women. So whether you ladies want to accept it or not, it's a biological fact. Women need a cosign. So that brings it back full circle to your question. Why can't you handle it? It's not about why can we not handle it. It's about us seeing a cosign from other men is not required to be attracted to you. I'm going to say that again. Listen very closely because I know you don't like to listen. All right? <laughs> listen. Here's the difference. Me and Fresh are at the fucking club. Batty comes up to me and I, and I like her. I'm leaving with her. I'm not going to consult with Fresh to be like, hey, man, what do you think? Blah, blah, blah. You, on the other hand, gone. dude comes up to you. <laughs> you know he's lit, whatever. You still going to go to the bathroom and consult with your girls and tell them what's going to happen, figure out logistics, all that other shit, because you need a cosign from your girls. Men don't. My so that man. is why guys have a serious issue <laughs> with you running around and talking to other dudes, because we know that you fucking with other guys is not a requirement for us to be attracted to you. However, with you... It is a requirement that we are attractive to other girls for you to fuck with us. And if you don't believe me, look at Future, look at Drake, look at any celeb, look at VIP sections, look at parties. Why are all the girls concentrated with just a select few men? Because women need to know other women find you attractive and women need to. I got to beat this into women's heads. This is why guys have to do the shit that they do. And this is why the guys that get their girls have all the girls. And the guys that don't get the girls don't get any girls. Because having bitches gets you other bitches. In other words, passive bitch income. All right? All right, <laughs> all right Mario. I'm going to give you that one. I, I, I'm only getting that one only because. Oh gosh. Hold I, on. Yes, <laughs> yes, Hold fresh. On. Only because I'm actually the lit uh, bitch. Uh, trans. Hold on. The the ones that lit they bitch. actually See leave with. Yes, hey, I am. Hey, hey, I am. Hey, hey, My friends are the hey, lit hey. friends. Like that's why I would actually leave a party if there's already other lit bitches. You already got bitches like right, turn up a party. Bitch. You don't Five need four me. Four invite you to that mansion party. You and see a bunch of other bitches And the there. reason why guys. You ain't leaving. The reason why guys. Guys don't like me stepping out is because they know what I bring to the table. They don't want other guys to have that. It ain't got shit to do it. Whatever the hell you see say. how you had to bring it back to yourself? I did. Unfortunately, it's hold the on, truth. Hold on. Don't get you what you bring to the table confused with accessibility. 
No, if access, anybody, if accessibility anybody come, has a lot to do with that because any that's nigga what know, I'm saying. If I'm really, if I really fuck with you and I love you, any even got, I ain't gotta love you. If I really fuck with you, I'm not finna <laughs> share myself with anybody else. You, Did you, you the only nigga that is gonna have access. But you just to said me. you love this guy, and then you I didn't. That's the case. Nobody Marry had me. access to me and make me rich. But you just said yeah, that you, said, you had yeah, sex. You just said you had sex with a guy. I ain't take a hustle when I had it though. I just told y'all I ended up. You just said if you, if you love girl, you was ready. It took like two weeks. Like when we was like two weeks. That's nothing. Two weeks. It was, but we was like, I was like um, done with the bro, other guy. I don't want to keep talking about allegedly. Look, sorry, guys, sorry. Wait, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Can we take wait, a look? At, can we take a look? That's about thirty bodies. I, 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 I literally stuff, explained A to Z okay. why why women why why it is not okay for women to run around and fuck other dudes and think that it's okay because guys are repulsed by it and why women will accept you fucking other girls just because. We're very different, and she still doesn't understand it, man. I, I too like, understand it, Myra. It's I the just she gonna watch it. She gonna watch this show. It, no, 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 no. I'm like I understand exactly where you're coming. I just don't agree with it. That's it. It that's doesn't okay. matter that's if you okay. if I say the that's sky fine. is blue and you turn around and tell me the sky is green. Uh, I don't agree with you. I'm gonna look at you like uh, stupid. It doesn't matter what you think because the reality is uh. the sky is blue. You don't have to agree with reality, but you have to accept it. You don't have to agree with it. That's fine. You you know, maybe it hurts your feelings. No, but it doesn't hurt my feelings. It definitely does. It does. Lovely. But, lovely. Yeah. But yes, the Chris. point is, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yes, Chris. If, if, if I say the sky is blue and you say, I don't agree with that. Well, everyone's going to look at you like you're dumb. Like, OK, you don't agree with the sky is blue. We're all looking here. We all have, you know, unless someone's cold. Like, oh, no, no. But rest of, everybody else is going to be like, man, the sky is blue. Is this, you don't agree with that. The What's wrong with you? Turquoise. But it, it, it's just you don't have to accept it. But the reality is. Men don't like women I just that wish, run around. I with wish other you guys. Dudes. Please, I, please I, let me finish. I, I just wish you guys were, were built more like women. That's it. That's all. That's it. I mean, and I wish I had five billion dollars, but I don't. <laughs> okay. That's why you can. Do I'm it. here no in a horror. podcast studio arguing with a delusional 31 year old woman losing oh. hair follicles. I'm 31. She's 33. No, no, you know, 33. Then why don't 33, you date 33, women? Sorry. 33. She's here. Wait, 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 like woman is like traits. What is that? She wants men to be able to accept <laughs> that women can step out too. And I'm gonna, I'm telling her, men will never fucking accept. No, 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 no. no. Correction. If you're with an like a single, I'm not, I'm only talking about side chicks. I'm not talking about like anything when, when it comes to being like committed to somebody. That's different. If you're fucking with a side chick mm -hmm. and this side chick is attractive and can track whoever the else you want, you should be able to like withstand whatever she brings to the table just like like it should be equal it should be 50 50 that's why, she's no, a side chick he doesn't care accessibility man he doesn't have to care like Lovely. my yes chris that's a ga yeah, so so yeah. you see how i i met yeah. your name and then you submit it so a real man don't want to withstand a woman we don't withstand meaning compromise either you say what we do or you bounce so if i'm with you and you're like well i'm gonna do this he's gonna bounce so long story short it's like listen if you're gonna do what you gotta do don't let us know just don't do it simple as that because you said if i love a guy i'm gonna cheat and once again it's like women don't cheat on a guy they love facts there you go. No, no, I never said that. Well, yeah, you in did. love. No, I said that's what i ended up Can doing that was like a one-time right. thing to something else it, it was just like a one-time thing and I didn't in, I didn't do it initially. I actually did it after. And Your I did personal it out of story is irrelevant to the point being made here. Look, He's, <laughs> you don't like that he didn't want to accept the fact that you want to step out as a side chick, and I'm here to tell if you. I meet somebody else. You should be happy that he didn't want you to step out. That's what you guys pre preach on your platform. If it's like a how do you call it a high value man, and. He doesn't want me to step out. I'm gonna respect how he feels, and right. I'm gonna leave him alone. All right, cool. Next. <laughs> You should be happy that he didn't want you to step out because it meant he gave a fuck about you. No, you're right. Uh, so, I never said so, that. Uh, well, I agree with that. Okay, then. Uh, it's no. My thing is, it's the confusion. It's like how, how, like I'm sorry. And that's why you don't we, be the side bitch. That is why I tell y'all. What the hell did I say earlier? Mm -hmm. You don't want to it's, be it's, the side it's bitch not that because it's you end like, up in this delusional come, world that you're in. It's not delusional. It but matter. How come we can withstand that shit and you guys can't? You, you like, I explained it to you. See, you he's telling you You don't want to fucking listen, man. And you don't listen to what he's saying. God yeah. damn. Uh, but we're you telling know, you what guys 
can tolerate what it can't tolerate. But you're saying, oh, why not? So you guys can't share. That's really what it is. Yes. No, Basically. we're possessive. We just told you that Basically. many times. Okay. Love All right. You got to understand. Give me one. Give me one. You don't know what guys. Uh, all right. Anyways, go. Uh, I'm not a guy. What's the you next guys, question? And then you guys call me Yo. masculine so much. So help me Yo. explain. Well, you gotta like, understand. Energy. Listen. Yeah, the like, you know, I never understood that. Stop, man. Stop. Wait, 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 stop. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. Pause. So Mike Rashid in the building. What up, Mike? <laughs> By the way, let the other ladies, ladies talk because you've been talking the whole show. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Let them I'm, talk I'm as well. Shut up. I'm shut up. God damn it, man. Shit. All right. Super chats and then ladies continue with questions. All right, yeah, uh, guys, wait. hit the like button, bro. Shout out to our boy Mike, <laughs> Mike Rashid. Hit the like button one time for the homies F and F giving y'all a major game. Sheesh. We're giving y'all a major game at the cost of losing major hair follicles. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> some niggas giving ones in the chat. <laughs> nah, she she's cool, but she just needs some some. Some attention. Yeah. We we some guidance, you. man. Yeah, yeah she's, she's cool people. But, but, let, yeah. but everybody else talk, right? You, 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 you cool people. Sorry. Let, I'm, let I'm sorry. Talk. All right. Uh, Alexander Link. This is why you don't want to be a side chick, because you're always going to be confused, man. <laughs> that part. Uh, Titanic taught us, men, we, all we need to know. Women will let you drown in the freezing Atlantic for a huge blue crystal with plenty of room on the God door. God damn, that's true, though. That's true. Marin, how can any of these three or fours be mad at communicating? They freely and frequently use their lips for Chad and Tyrone all the time. Funny reactions, $20. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, bro. Keenan Parks, Pineapple, who is that dude pouring baby oil on your backside on your OnlyFans? Just hoping that's your, your he's your ex, not your next. Oh, wait, shit. wait, 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 what? what? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, what? Hold on, what think about this. That nigga paid for OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, research. Nigga, no. You that part, well, Bonita, you... that being said, who's that guy? <laughs> that's my ex. Okay. <laughs> okay. Better be. <laughs> uh, Hey man, what's wait 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 that's actually funny. <laughs> Sage Anubis, your honor, we the people of the jury find the defendant guilty of all charges. At side, okay? Uh, 20 bucks, Stanley Yelnats. You can't have a conversation oh, with a pathological guys, liar. Oh. Keep trying to skip when she starts cap, but it's live. It. Yeah, you guys can't skip. Sorry, bro. Straight facts are mine fresh. Toast to your success, gentlemen. I make over 90K a year. I told my ex I can do better. Let's get it. Yep, that's what's up. Armeza, first lady to say accountability. I'll cash out for 50 bucks. Okay. Oh, uh, no. And uh, <laughs> all right. And then uh, we got 20 bucks. Funny reactions. Shout out to FNF from Brooklyn. Notice how when cornered with the truth, women rarely say true or I hear you. They always just nod like, bro, man, from Martin and look sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know you won. And I can get and can I get uh, misogyny? I got you, bro. It's actually pronounced. Misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> now, five, uh, no, shout out to our boy AD, by the way, for that funny, uh, hilarious sound effect. Him, by the way. Kelly Williams, 316, message deleted. Okay. You probably made fun of Lovely for not being lovely the past five minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, no, we got Okay. And then, um, cool. And then we got sidetracked. It was a question, yes or no? Yeah. So I think it's your turn yes. now. Yes. There you go. <laughs> um... I forgot the question. Don't Do you guys? Me. Oh, wait. No. I'm making Stupid. a question. Right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You gotta make it up. You gotta make it up. Do you guys give attention to the balls too? Because I know some girls Ooh. don't. We'll start with oh. Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no pun. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, I love giving attention to the balls. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's mm -hmm. my favorite part. What about you? <laughs> yes or no? The balls is like the titties. You got to suck at. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> two out of two. Lovely. I feel like I'm not doing my prayer if I'm not doing that. All Especially right. to someone I love. Exactly. Okay. All right. Three out of three. Come on, Maya. I thought that. <laughs> Took a slow down, Maya. That's not part of level one. What? <laughs> okay, it's not part yeah. of that, that's, yeah. the, that's the premiere package. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's not that's Luxury not the package. Mm -hmm. All right, Nina, what about you? Balls is where the fun is at. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Put some baby oil on it, I guess. All right. What about <laughs> what about you? Good about? Yes, I love making a nigga moan. I love mm -hmm. babies to turn on. 
<laughs> New York. Stop it, New York. Stop it, New York. Stop it, please. I'm just saying, like, I just like the next thing you know, she got the blicky to your neck. Hey, run your shit, run your shit, nigga. Run your shit. Oh shit, I'm a step up. Oh, I'm a step up. Damn, 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 I'm a step up. I mean, but I had a a guy genuinely like get upset that I gave attention to the ball. I've had that too. What? Or feel what? like what? that's not that sensitive. Hold you. If you don't do it the right way, that should be mad annoying. No, Does he, it tickle? He wouldn't even let just me punch like, her in the head. I had just started. And he What's was the like, right way, that. Fresh? Fresh. Nah, huh? wait. I had just <laughs> I had just started, right. and he was like, "That's gay." What? You thought he's too gay. far back. He, he probably, probably has no experience. He was probably I was like, like Bruh, okay. <laughs> that's homie's preference. I ain't gonna were you in a preference. Preference. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, hey. Nice were you in a gooch area? Was, yeah, he was probably. I had just started. I, did, I just started at the gooch. You was probably in the gooch area. Fresh. Oh, oh, so you went down and up then. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh, you gotta tell us what's the right way. <laughs> no, so uh, three fingers. Honestly, like <laughs> what? Every yeah, dude's three fingers. sensitivity is different. Like, I, I don't know his sensitivity, so mm-hmm. I can't really tell you off of him. Right. But for me personally, like, if you got long ass nails, it's like, bruh, if you could, like, scratch my balls, it's gonna hurt. It's so shit feels weird. Okay. So, huh? you gotta be, like, gentle, obviously. Nah. Yeah. So. Some, I made that shit work with all my nails. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say, I don't think my nails. She was circumcised that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the person that I did it to, he had no complaints. If anything, he wanted it more. So there you go. <laughs> All right, BDSM. <laughs> what about you? Huh? Oh yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah, that's the question. But you said you said you had a guy get upset too. Did he? Oh no, yeah. Thing? I've never not. That. I mean, I've never not upset, but more like uncomfortable for him personally. I think it was ticklish or something. <laughs> so. <laughs> So right. some people are extra sensitive and some people are not so sensitive because I've had guys who or one guy who likes it being pulled. What? So, what? <laughs> yeah. So it really depends on <laughs> play gay sound effect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That is actually very extremely strange. <laughs> There's anything wrong it's with that. But hey, you know. <laughs> That's, that's what painful. you like. That's painful. <laughs> and what about you? I mean, I don't know. This might be Mm-mm. okay. She does not deal with the balls. She deals with really? the ovaries only. <laughs> the other balls inside. Oh, I guess that makes sense. God so. damn it. Okay. Next, next question. Oh damn. Um. It could come back to you. <laughs> yeah, come back to me. Cause I don't. I, wait. I can't. Really <laughs> think. I don't want. I don't want to waste my question either. I want something good. All right, Nina. Okay. So I know that you guys would take a girl who smashes on the first date seriously. Mm -hmm. But if she smashes you on the first date, then how do you know she's not giving it up? So like if she smashes you on the first date, that means she's giving it up easily. Mm. But you would take her seriously. So, well, here's the thing, right? Like you can say that that could be plausible. However, think about this as a guy that's dating. I know our frip. If it goes really into you, I can actually there, and she doesn't hold back. I mean, she's, she's really into you. Some guys may say, oh, that was too quick. She's a hoe. Yeah, that is true. It could be either or. My thing is, I'm going to see over a period of time how you move, and I'll determine that after. So either way, I'm going to wait to see how you really act after that interaction, and then I'll make my judgment from there. Based on what? Like, how she moves in terms of, like, okay, is she uh, responsive? Is she, like, seeing other people? Like, I'm going to just see how she moves after that uh encounter yeah and uh what a uh, fresh step because this whole night i've been um listening to your girls talking and everything and you girls don't really provide um really emphasize on providing value for the guy it's like okay well i fuck him so i'm gonna see what no it's like you girls have to provide value text him send him some you know some some kicky shit uh send him a text like reach out to him to say hey, you know what i'm much more than sex because if you just give up sex and lay back then he's gonna think you're much more than sex there you go. Yeah, I agree. Uh, next. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Mine is more like a question because I had this debate before. Like, me personally, um, <clears throat> I've never had a, a guy ask me for anal, but I always said, like, in the topic, like, I feel like if a dude asks me for anal, my pussy not tight. Is this true? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Like, seriously. Like, I never some had... Guys, some guys just like it. It's just like a thing that some guys it's just, like. It's just a different hole they want to discover. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Are you serious? Because, yeah. like, my nigga, my pussy's tight. Like, why would you ask me? I never, it's, yeah. it's just a different hole. That's all. 
Don't really? get offended. Yeah. I just would think I would assume. Okay. Yeah. That's it's just it. it's just something that they would they like they're not it's not something of the norm. So if they find somebody that's like with it, they want to like you know venture out and see what it's about. Like a lot of guys actually haven't even experienced anal you know, sex, and that's what I'm trying to. They're say, gonna like, pick and choose and try to like, hey, would you let me do this? And if it happens, it's gonna happen for them. But I feel like if your pussy's tight, then why would they need your asshole is always gonna be tighter. <laughs> And dryer, <laughs> but dryer. Why would you want to dry? Don't they like wet? It ain't, if your wet, wet, if your pussy's lube. wet, your asshole gonna be wet. That's one thing I do yeah, know. Yeah, but like, no, but before but, they put the thing <laughs> inside, they put lube. That's what I. Yeah, or, if she got a dry exactly, ass pussy, if right. you got a I'm wet pussy, the, you it's like, already I'm dripping. I'm talking about the culo. Not the cool. okay, I'm but not, I'm, I'm talking say. about the ass. If yeah. your pussy is wet, you're not gonna need no lubricant for Period. your ass. Uh, for your ass, yeah, because yeah, it'll drip. But <laughs> that's my point. Period. If your pussy is tight, then okay. that's so what I'm just trying to say. From a it's, 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 it's just like you gotta look at them like, almost like they're cheating. They want to find it's it's like a it's something new, like an you know anal sex is something new for them. Like a lot of guys don't experience stuff like that. Have you in the closet? <laughs> I've done. Something new. I, I feel like, yeah, if your pussy tight, then I just feel like this is to me. I would just feel disrespected. Like, nigga, what you mean you want to fucking Facts. go to? No, nah, I just feel like it's, it's March. Don't ever get, uh, don't ever get up, offended. It's just them trying to like, damn. If a mm. pussy this way, I wonder what her ass feels like. That's how you gotta look at it. Don't it ever look at it like me. anything else. No, yeah, it's I not gay. It. It's not gay. It's just another. And it's just another not hole. Gay. It's just like it. It me it's just bisexual. Nah, it's not bisexual either. <laughs> yeah, Kegels. Fresh. Can we get Have questions? You done right, so anal? Based on Aaron, then I huh? feel like. Huh? Then Have uh, you done anal? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't done have it. No. no, you haven't. No. Yeah, um, Would you ever? I ain't gonna hold you. That shit scares the shit out of me. Because I'm like, I'm from the island, so like, any body boy activity? Nah, we don't want to have that. Body boy. It goes in one way, one way. Island boy. It goes in two ways, three months. So nah. Right, Myron. Uh, I have, and that was not. It was not. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was not a good experience. I, I just was her like vagina it. tight though. Did you get dirty? No. Nah. Like, why did you even? Why did you even go there? It like there's was, another question. What was her happened? vagina she not tight? She wanted it. She wanted it. Uh, oh, so you I, wasn't I, curious? No, nah, it wasn't oh, me. Oh, see, yeah, it was her. So I, I didn't like it. No, nah, that's different. Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's Chris, but what's her like, vagina tight though? Is it what? Props to you though. Have you? <laughs> yeah, uh, my first time. I've I've done it, but never again because um, it's not pretty. <laughs> oh, wait, you <laughs> wait, what happened? Wait, 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 she she wait what happened? Oh, when you go there. That shit is crazy. <laughs> You gotta tell us the story now. Chris. I mean, I'm just saying it's that's not pretty. It's what like do you the, expect to happen? Uh, what do you mean? No, Wait, I'm answering the question happen? because I was saying it's my first time, but just me thinking back on it, it's like it just wasn't a pretty like it's it's anal like it's anus. It's like what the fuck like <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> like it's just not something that guys do. Guys, oh, it's this nice asshole. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh, it's so it's pretty. It smells nice. Okay. Hey, okay, guys, by the way, get us up to 5,000 likes and I will make the announcement that you guys want as far as like, uh, you know, Michaela Peterson and everything else. <laughs> also, guys, quick announcement, patreon.com slash freshfitman. Get on there, guys. Uh, get us to 1,000 uh, patrons. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, let's continue on. <laughs> so really someone know. said you got dookied off. <laughs> someone said you like peanut butter, butter yeah. for real. I mean, uh, yeah, who knows? Like all, all that plays a role in that shit. So right. who's, who's next? <laughs> who's next? <laughs> I have no question. Shout to uh, get, clout. I got a question because I know I know men got uh, sex fantasies. Can we get? Can we? Can the girls answer the question on their side too? So it's not yeah, like yeah. it was open. So like, and I mean, sex fantasies. Sometimes he, they like you know, like slapping the girl, or they like tying up the girl. Mm -hmm. What's that? Do you guys really like all of that? What's going on? I want to. Are you know asking us, sir? Well, yeah, it's open yeah. for everybody, ladies. Yeah. Oh. Well, for the men, but girls too, because girls have sex fantasy as well. So, like, you know, there's mm -hmm. different kinds of kinks. And I want to know what's going on, you know. Like, so you're asking what our kinks are? Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, I got I one. Don't understand understand I got one, too. I like being a sleeping beauty. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what? what is that? Wait, when you what? sleep throughout the whole set. I mean, come in my dreams, <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm uh, asleep. Okay. I want to wake up surprised and happy at the same time. Surprise, motherfucker. 
<laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, Maya likes a uh... surprise, motherfucker. Okay, okay. fair enough. Uh, who's? Who, we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll start with uh, with you. What was the question? What are the kinks? What are your kinks? And what do you think men like? Y'all don't even listen to each other. Damn, I thought <laughs> you guys would at least listen to each other. I know, right? Going on. Bro. Okay, so what are your kinks? What kinks do you think men like? And is there an experience? Um... A story. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So for me, obviously it's different. So I would say, for example, like you said, with the hitting or whatever. Yeah. If it's a guy, I do not, I do not like that shit. Mm. And I only say that because it happened one time and it killed the mood and I wanted to leave. I hated it. Wow. But it's very different for me with a girl. Like I'm okay with that. It's a girl. Wait. I'll yeah. say that. Okay. I was so pissed off. I don't even want to think about it. I feel <laughs> In a way. Your turn. We're still on kinks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I really want to get tied up, like unable to it's move fun. type it's of fun. thing. That's fine. Like, <laughs> sign this waiver and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wish I come true. Yeah. That's lit. <laughs> right here. Y'all are dumb. <laughs> if you never tried it, you need to try yeah, it. Yeah. There's guys. There's guys that actually like offer that service where they'll like, you know, <laughs> you sign some paperwork and they like, you know. They'll show up at your house and break in and make it look real and throw you in the trunk of their yeah. car and drive around what? and shit. No, 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 that's like, that's like a little that rapey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pause. It's not. So is the sleeping beauty thing. Pause. People it's a little scary. So, Red, well, what's the uh, safe word? Newsflash. Girls like weird shit like that. So Yeah. Bless. Yeah. That's true. That's what she wants. Don't call it. Don't, don't insult her. <laughs> it's her dream. She wants to be tied up, bro. Well, come on, man. Yeah. Red, safe okay. word. Leo, uh, is that it? I don't, I don't know. Um... I don't know. I mean, you said the tied up, then I think that already Same came word. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. safe word I mean, if I get into that situation, it means there should be, I don't need a safe word there you type do. of thing. There you do. <laughs> do you, you got any safe Cuff your arm. Okay. All right. So pineapple. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I just, I don't know. I like um, making guys moan. Like, like I said before, I like, it's just mm. something about a dude mm. moaning. It's just like, because y'all always. Then robbing him after. <laughs> Not enough about Robin. It's just like something. Yeah, you know, you guys always want to be this masculine macho man, but right. like when they moan, it's like, just like, down, ooh, yeah, I Suck got that sex to my ears. Yeah, yeah, it's just like I love to make a dude moan like that shit like this. Like, and um, okay. yeah, moaning and this. What was the question? It's just I really with kinks. Yeah, kinks. Yeah. kinks. I forgot the question. Kinks oh, yeah. and so it's like, what are oh, your yeah. different kinds of kinks, and what are oh, your stories? Uh, oh. All right, so me, I just like my nipples is thing. You gotta if you you gotta love to, you gotta love to suck some titties, and I like to make a dude moan. That's it for me. Okay. All right, much. first mm. uh, you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I genuinely enjoy being submissive. And I have a high pain tolerance. <laughs> she wants to get thrown around. <laughs> I'm only a hundred pounds. Facts. <laughs> Throw me around. Yeah. Marty, 100 pounds, throw me around. Exactly. Oh, no. Hello Kitty, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? The tide of thin. I want something like 50 Shades of Grey. Take over. The girl, how are you going to say, Take that sounds over. rapey, and then come back I and say, that. I, I said want that. You. Oh, you said, oh, that. oh, you yeah, said that. I thought no. you said it. Okay, my bad. I meant grapey. Oh, grapey. <laughs> okay. Grapey. No, I just went to, um, what was the Spencer's? And I was looking at the robes and the little handcuffs. I'm like, I would love to try all I of feel this. like that would break. Merch. I need, like, you need, like, <laughs> some so strong official, <laughs> official, official like the robes that they tie <laughs> on your thighs, <laughs> your legs, and your feet. I mean, Marin, do, uh, I want to try all of that. Do you know about handcuffs? Uh, if I ever no have a red room, <laughs> if I was ever to have my own big house, I want a red room. I want it. But, like, I mean, why would you confine to one place? What? Wait, what? I didn't even turn it across state lines. Hold on. Hold on. I need this to go viral. Go. I need you to kidnap me and take me to another state. A dungeon. So I know. <laughs> but now. A freaking dungeon. The FBI is going to be involved. I need this to be high risk. I, I need you to kind of cut my throat a little bit, but not that I die. Just, I want you to yeah, choke yeah, me to death. I'm just fuck the hell out of me. Make it like a nick, a yeah. shaving nick. Just a little bit. I need to know. No safe words. <laughs> no, Man. Safe no safe words. <laughs> Back of the trunk. Man. No AC, but a little bit of a crevice so I can breathe. Yeah. Duct tape. It. You know, make sure it's not too tight. <laughs> Shout out to Gina in the back dying. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Shout out to the couch cam. Uh, all right. Um, who is next? Uh, outside of uh, okay. 
what she said, but I actually like to be the one to do the tying. Ooh. Ooh. So <laughs> let me know if you're whipping them. Tell me how your masculine. Uh, tell me your masculine. How? Without, without telling me. Yeah, yeah without, without telling me. Telling me. <laughs> I want to be the one to tie up. I like to tie guys up and make them squirm and cry and shed tears and <sighs> shit like that. So like a you know how many before about a slide I like guys that let me dominate them and they can actually take it. She said, she said cry. Oh, right. Uh, yes, cry. Tears. Okay. It's so funny because I'm so opposite. I love being so submissive. I want to feel like I a have, child next to you. I have year. like a double tongue. So if you can handle that shit, then it is what it is. You have a double tongue. Let me show see? us. Let me I got see? muscles in my tongue. Oh. I see one. Yeah. 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 So uh, I thought your tongue was split yeah. in half. No. I, I, I've <laughs> seen longer. Yeah. It, don't, it, don't, it don't matter what, what the longer you do. It's, it's the strength of it. You know that, uh, Chris. I mean, don't play me. I mean, I, no, you know what? All right. Chris, you Chris, know? Chris don't act crazy. Chris, Chris don't, you know? don't act crazy. Chris. You know the lift don't matter. It's the strength. I mean, <laughs> if, so you know. if it can't reach, I'm just saying. It, it is. <laughs> Miss X Chewy, what about you? Um, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty vanilla, so just the regular spanking hair pulling. I haven't really done much else, so. That's the, but you don't have like, like fantasies? Like, that's what you, you don't want to hear him to moan? I mean, whatever mm. makes him happy. Like, girl, honestly, no, him moaning. Know, you, like, honestly, I get more satisfaction by like his pleasure during right. Right, He's him moaning. Man, I like so, that. I like. I like to like have a whole massage, like oil, everything, explore their body, that find out, love find that. out what, what spots That's my make number them two. tingle, you know? <laughs> the foreplay. Yeah, and then so. later on, you use that in I've the bedroom. And then they're like, that. oh shit, like, yeah, yeah, making him moan. I know, it's girl. It's amazing. Yeah, no, have you ever is. done like the whole like uh, lingerie cosplay thing on your man? Oh, not cosplay, but lingerie. No, oh, no it's like the cosplay lingerie. It's like, um, let's say you're a maid, but you have like the cute stockings and the bras and the panties. <laughs> Not like yet. I no. feel like that's extra. Not yet. I haven't that's, got to do that. That's extra. Not yet. <laughs> not yeah, yet. Not yet. That's regular. She, she likes it, bro. She likes it. Man. You guys. Yeah. No, like, like for me personally, I just yeah. <laughs> well, Red no, doesn't no, dress no. up for anyone, as you guys can tell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I say that dress up cosplay, I mean to, uh, all Central lingerie. Park. When we got a podcast, I don't want you jumping on the bed like Naruto. Who cares? No you care in the world. Yeah. I don't care. Central Park, just laying on the bench. Yeah. Okay. Who's next? You are fresh. Oh, me? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, uh, <you're> fresh. <laughs> I mean, definitely for me, it's just like, I'm not as a, adventurous in terms of like, I don't need to tie you up, but multiple different spots, like out in public, we, we, we might get caught. That kind of like, it's a turn on for me. Same. Or if it's like, yeah. car you know, sex, finding this location, beach, you know, <laughs> freaking in the shopping mall. What? Wait, in the, Wait, in the mall, you OD. In the changing room. Like, going like, to jail. That type of shit's like fun, so. That's, that's You're me. a rabbit. Are you yeah, in the mall. Shut up, Nina. Mall. <laughs> Shut up, Nina. <laughs> what about you, Myron? <laughs> Myron. Yeah. Where have I like banged? No, my no, kinks. Like, what's kinks. Your kinks? <laughs> oh, my kinks. Okay, and what sorry. are your, some of your stories? Um, Fantasies, like honestly, dude, I don't have any like kinks, man. I, I like really. It's just you if she's hot, she's hot. I don't really do anything like missionary doggy style. Like I don't, I don't in know. In the I park. No, oh, I've ne- I've actually never had sex in public ever. No orgy in the car, some five some oh, nothing no. in the car. I thought about a threesome, but I was like, I don't know if I want to. Do this. You never had a threesome? Not a threesome. This is gonna be this is gonna be troublesome for me. <laughs> no, in the car. No, you never had a threesome? not in the car. I of had the opportunity. I didn't want to do it. Oh wow! Because I knew that there was gonna I was gonna have to deal with some consequences after that I didn't want to deal with. Female emotions. Yeah, bro, I didn't want to deal with that shit. Yeah. Like it was just like. Why nah. she was sucking your thing better than me? I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got more dick than me. It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, <laughs> like, 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 both, both the girls like, like, like me, like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nah, man. I was like, nah, I ain't doing this shit. Like, nah. Like, you gotta this. have it with random. <laughs> lit- you gotta have it, yeah, yeah. And and, and it, there was, I knew it was gonna be, it was gonna be a pro, like. You know, I always say like, you know, short term pleasure leads to, leads to long term pain versus like, you know, long term pain leads to, well, long term pleasure as well. But, you know, it, yeah, dude, like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, man. So I was like, nah, no thanks. So, yeah, I don't really have, and I know it's kind of weird, right? Like, Fantasies? Uh, no, it's not weird, though. Yeah. I feel you. Maybe. I just be, I, bro, I be having that boring Bible sex, bro. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, no. the job okay. done, honestly. No condoms. <laughs> Mari said I'm about to bust a nut. Okay. okay. Mar- <laughs> Chris, Chris, I know you were talking, bro. What, bro? I know you were talking, bro. Chris, what's one those? of your kinks? Uh, my, my kinks? Yeah. I mean, it depends on the girl, man. If she's hot, 
A girl that speaks clearly. No, no, no. Peanut butter. A girl that can pronounce the word words correctly. No, like, like for me, it's a girl who actually like um who knows like, hey, we're gonna fuck, but it's like the build up is always a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like um if I'm with a girl and it's like, yo, when I see you. Like that's when I like, see you, know. you. Oh, oh, so you got you got oh, Miss um, March, Dominant March, over here. March, okay, my no, 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 that's great. I'm gonna fuck Chris, you up. Chris actually looks like a freaky nigga. I I can pick that up off of him. Oh, right? oh. isn't that right? So look, after this, you and Chris link up. Hey, let's let's find out. I mean. Look, at least buy me some dinner, man. Some, 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 some <laughs> drinks, something like that. You, you wanna die me looking first? for sugar mama. <laughs> wanna die me? You don't watch the last shows. I'll, I'll take care of my niggas. So. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. 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 Someone told me. There's no pet, no dogs. <laughs> Open like a dick. Oh, my God. Hey. I'll tell you this, bro. Your hairline about to go back some more. Uh, City boys, we up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to be down fucking with her, bro. City boys. You got to be down back. Shut up. Yeah. You might be good as long as you don't pet no dog. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Anita, you got some? So, since you said you like having that boring Bible sex, but what is certain, like, uh, physical attributes that maybe, you know, make you hard? Ooh. Oh, shit. Damn. Ooh. Uh, oh, girl, that's a good shape, man. She works out. What's good shape? Yeah, no fat yeah. bitches. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. <laughs> He's like no plus size over here. Hey, you like, guys have what? no problem in saying no broke niggas, right? <laughs> yeah, six right. Feet, okay. six figures. I got my standards too, goddamn. But what if she like thick and she don't have like no. muscles and shit like that? What if he don't have money but like his dad <laughs> has some? <laughs> <good. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yo, y'all sound crazy, bro. Like they're about to. So yo, she uh, just... yo, money positivity. Did we not say this earlier? <laughs> money positivity, baby. Hey man, just because I'm in my mom's basement. Doesn't mean that I can't get out this motherfucker. I got potential. But look, y'all got your standards. We got ambition, our standards. Mar, so ambition. she has to work out. Yeah, yeah, plus. yeah. I mean, if she's gonna be taken seriously at any level, where I'm gonna like see her again, yeah. Like, hey, man, everybody's done some strange. I ain't gonna lie, I fucked some fat hoes before, and that made me realize that having sex with whales is not fun. Did they come? I, I did a whole lot my, my, myself, brother. You still do, nigga. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but uh, no, um, no, real talk though. Like, yeah, if if it's like if I'm gonna like hang out with her, like and ch- like besides just like banging once, she's got to be in shape to some degree. That's the only standard. Like, uh huh. That's the only standard. Oh, uh, I mean, you said what turns me on. It's a good body. Okay. Yeah, so I was just answering that. Like, the other Ma- shit... Certain height... Men are very simple, though, so... Yeah, I mean, well, ideally, if I'm going to be ideal, if I'm going to, like, make my ideal woman... Not, make the, it! Go the, ahead! The, the male delusion calculator. The male delusion calculator. Uh, she'd be, like, it, around 5'10". 5'10", okay. <laughs> then she's tall. She's yeah. really tall. He's 6'3". Well, tall, too. How six, tall are you? Six three, man. Oh, All man. my oh. kids have a chance, man. God damn. <laughs> I need them to get a prom date, man. Especially with the delusion of how you chicks are. Everybody's six feet. Yeah. Sorry, son. You're not tall enough to ride this yeah, ride. Yeah, bro. Prom. Gargantuan ass. So you want like a Victoria's Secret model, Adriana Lima? Well, not her because she definitely uh. She to the streets. But but yeah, I mean like yeah, a taller girl would be good. If I'm gonna take her seriously, yeah, bro. Like you got you want you want to have good strong genetics, man. So, mm-hmm. you know, I can't mate mate with some inferior per genetics, bro. Like, it's going to fuck me up. <laughs> and, then the, and then the positioning. So I'm on 5'10". I'm going to be so sick on me and shit. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm sick again. Yeah, 5'10". Like, well, you know? Shit. Like, I need you healthy, man. Firm hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, 5'10". Maybe 5'8". Five, 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 I'm 5'5". Five, 5'8". Five, 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 he's wilder than 5'10". 5'8". 5'10 is really tall, my Yeah, 5'8. 5'8, five, eight. Eight. Five, eight, Byron. Come on. 6'5 five, five is really tall. <laughs> nah, and, and, and as a and chick. And $100,000 a year. Wait till she wear heels next to you. Wait, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be a problem. Right, so you want right. her to it's going to be a, a problem. 5'8 five, five, with heels. Hmm? With heels. You want her to stand on a chair? Chicks, w- especially in Miami, normally wear heels. First of all, I dated a guy who was 6'4, and I'm 5'1, okay? I didn't have to stand on no chair. Did he break his back? He did have to stand on the chair. But did he have to bend his knees? He just picked me up. Oh, wow. You see, that's See, but that's quick. I like that. 
Yeah, you know, look at this. I just gave one standard. <laughs> yeah. Talk five foot ten. On a chair. Now y'all know what it's I'm like to be child. a goddamn dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, five foot ten. That's tall. That's too tall. How did they dudes feel? Oh, I want him six three. What the fuck? Like, I want him five ten. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see what you said being a problem though, because usually guys want short girls. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he he just, he wants a Zendaya. Zendaya's five ten. No, it's it's his standards are perfectly Zendaya's fine. 5'10"? But I'm just upset about the chair part. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not necessary. Well, it, it, I, I mean, it, it, bending down to kiss uh, short girls does get annoying after a while. I'm what? sure. I he never. It does get it. annoying. I ain't gonna lie. It's annoying to you watch. Like, enough until he can smash. And then like, like, right. But like, what about like, what? What, what about, about short girls? It's it's annoying to deal with them because you gotta bend as a taller guy. It's not comfortable to always bend down and kiss your girl, bro. It's just annoying. It's annoying to watch. Okay, but like, what about like um, when you want to be dumb? What? Bending what? down is actually you like, kind of submitting to her. Guys yes. love short <laughs> girls, <laughs> exactly because you, can throw you them can't around. you can't bend a short girl up like you could bend a tall girl girl woman up. So it's like I don't know. That's I don't I've never heard that complaint if when it comes. She's flexible. To... Well, yeah, I'm I flexible. never had any so, guys. Remember, I said uh, the, uh, my ideal. This is a girl I'm uh, have kids with and shit. Yeah, I want her to be to right. 5'10". Reproducing. At least. Yeah. Yeah. The side chick can be I'm, I'm, I'm thinking That's of my kids, saying. man. I'm not just thinking about me. <laughs> I just want to think <laughs> that like, his, his standards are so like simple, but y'all like always questioning. I don't, no, no, no. I'm not questioning. I was I was just trying to understand. Yeah, I understand what he meant about short girls because I've never heard. I've always heard good things about well, I'm not girls. settling. Fuck y'all. I'm not settling. <laughs> I know my worth. I know it's my worth. Right. Manifest it, man. I don't need no bitch. Manifest she, it. She's out there. I don't want a bitch. She's out there, okay, king. I don't need no girl. You go, king. Yeah. Get yeah, put me on a pedestal, baby. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. She's out there. Uh, She's out there. Uh, you got it. Yeah, and I'm broke, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Accept me for how I am. Do it. Money positivity. Just do it. Yeah, You're see, I sound crazy, don't I? <laughs> no. That's how y'all fucking sound. No, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, you don't know, hear. Yeah. That's how y'all sound. I, I, you guys I don't to hear sound it. like that. Yeah. Accept me for how I am. Money positivity, baby. Yes, yes. kid. Yeah. Yes, king. Yeah, quit. Yes, yeah. King. Yes, king. yeah. Yes, Ain't nobody nothing. Know your words, king. king. Know your words. Know I'm your the king. Know your words. I'm declaring my. I'm the king now. You deserve it. I'm declaring it. I'm a, I'm king. a bad nigga, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. No, no. You a yeah. no, no. You a lit nigga. Yeah. yeah. You a lit nigga. Yeah. 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 Right. But like the thing is, so if you really, crazy. if you really think about it, it's set up that way because females are they feel more comfortable when women are at a lower place than them. Like <laughs> what? They what? Find the, it's that what? way. It's that <laughs> way because. What? Hold what on. The fuck? Let her explain. Let her explain. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Okay, we hype each other up and. People don't see this side of it, but a lot of it is because you as a woman, if you're insecure with yourself, you look at the next person and find the things that, you know, you lack. Bruh. I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You got to lay off the weed. She fried. Right, you, you, fried. Like, fried, you know, fried. it used to be like you can't even complete a sentence anymore. You used to be able to complete a few sentences. Now it's like, God damn, that gun just strong. But no, I mean, like, I, I mean, by, by, by that logic, I mean, like, well, you know, we, we're just insecure. We need to pick each other up. But yo, you're picking each no, other up I like that. God okay. damn, bro. That's like to the point of failure. Because there's a lot of insecure guys out there, too. It's just that they're not going to sit there and not accept reality. Like, you don't see your homeboy, right? You know, he, he he don't talk to no girls. He has no confidence, whatever. And he's a loser. You ain't going to be there and be like, listen, man. These bitches don't deserve you. Yeah, you got this. Bro, you got a golden sword in World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> these fucking no. hoes. They can't do it. Don't <laughs> worry about it. But it, you you know, there's actually a lot of men like that. Yeah. That's the funniest part. That's no, there's none. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You'll be surprised. Like that. That's delusional like niggas. 
And that's a lot of delusional men Myron, out here you too. might not know them, but they Ooh, are out there. Like, yeah. there's like there's delusional guys, there's delusional girls. You have but, realists and you have delusionals. Let me tell you something. Difference. If a if a dude is a loser, he's not gonna go around a bun- bunch of other dudes and say, "Yo, son, I deserve a dime." <laughs> no one, and everyone knows he lives at home, plays World of Warcraft. He's a loser. <laughs> you know why? Because they'd be like, bro, you a fucking bum. Yo, ain't no bitch gonna want to fuck with you. Matter of fact, when's the last time you had sex, bro? You're probably a virgin. He gets uh-huh. punished for it. Roast him. You fat bitch. Yeah, I look good. What y'all yeah. gonna say? You ain't gonna say, no bitch, you need a treadmill. You'd be like, yeah. BBW. Instead of telling her to walk on a treadmill. BBW. Yeah. Yo, y'all lie to each other. Yo, instead of telling her dumbass to walk on a treadmill, you'd be like, yeah, rip that runway, bitch. Walk that one runway. BBW. No, the runway girls. You look good in white, girl. Yeah, nah, you look good, good in white, yeah. girl. Like, nah, bro, you, guys, you guys lie to each other. Men don't. I don't. We roast each other for being losers. And also, let's say they are delusional. If they go outside, they don't get an approach. The bigger chick, she might go outside and get approached. So even if we're delusional, we don't get any results. Statistical fact, there's more obese women than obese men. Just saying. It's a lot of obese men with money, though. So, like, yeah, there's no BBM <laughs> category. Yeah, don't, don't. Okay, you, when, you, when can't, you can't HBM. really use size as a example because, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of men out <laughs> here that. that's rich or scamming or whatever the case may be. They're getting all the girls and they're actually the ugly ones, too. You Thank you for proving point. my point. You the point. Further. <laughs> Yo, stupid. If you join a debate stupid. team, you are literally trash. Yeah, yeah. I said that, I literally said, bro, yo, there's more obese women than obese men. Well, yeah. men, there's a lot of obese men out here too and they getting girls, which proves my point. A man's looks are not that important. His status, wealth, competence is more important than that. A woman, however, yep. your looks do dictate your value and you fuck that up and get fat. That's, that's not not that's the truth. I got some BBW friends. They some big, fine, beautiful women <laughs> that can get any man that they want. You cannot make the this fupa up. does not Yo. stop that shit from like they have beautiful faces, beautiful careers. Like oh Aaron came from behind the scenes. I mean. That, that's <laughs> he already said though that they can I was still like, get guys for that close uh, to Frank. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Man with the money. This is this is a, okay. This is too much at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Yo, I literally, literally did. She just not prove my point just now. I just literally yeah. said girls lie to each other and tell them, "Oh my God, you're beautiful. You're a queen." Blah blah blah. Like what? But that's not lying. That's I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put that under lying though. Because yeah. if I'm hyping up my friend and she's overweight and I feel like she's a badass bitch, I'm really telling her the truth. She's I, not though. She is. No, she is. Eyes. There is. Let, let me make this painfully clear to every woman at this table and all five ladies watching oh, us my right God. now. Here we go. <laughs> there is no such thing as a fat bad bitch. I'm gonna say that again. What? There is no such thing. As a fat, bad bitch. That's like saying, oh man, I'm a successful broke nigga. No, it does not (laughs) exist. Okay? It does not exist. A bad bitch is a woman that is universally attractive to a majority of men. What you're describing is a minority of men that find these BBWs attractive. And let me me add this too. Well, there's a lot of niggas that watch BBW porn. And you know what happens after they watch that shit? They close the laptop, <laughs> think Go about their life, <laughs> open back up the laptop, clean themselves off. It's called clear the fucking, clarity. Clear and, the fucking cookies. And they go you right in a BBW MDM. No, and they fucking clear that history because they know goddamn well that they, they, they feel ashamed. And there's a reason why. Listen, you might fuck a fat girl once or twice, but you're not going to claim that. So yeah. your friends might get sexual attention from men for some strange but guess what? It's not going to be consistent, I promise you, because no guy wants to be seen with a fat bitch. When a dude is with a fat bitch, nine out of ten times is because he does not have the ability to get a real, actual bad bitch. That's and if you don't lie. believe me, give any guy a blue check on Instagram, a fucking m- couple million dollars, Lamborghini, Lamborghini, Fresh. a mansion, Shut up, Chris. maybe some clout. <laughs> He's going to go and get what? The models. He's not going to stay with the BBWs. Men Brush. deal with what they have access to and what they can get. 
So I don't know, care what anybody says, and this is coming from a man, and I would argue that 90% of the guys are going to agree with me on this. There is no Misogyny. such thing as a fat, <laughs> bad bitch. Here. Misogyny. Yeah. Man. Uh, oh, you know, I'm there's sorry. no such thing. Just like I can't say I'm a successful broke nigga and I live with my with my mom. You should take me on. Like, no. You, you will look at me like, bro, are you fucking like what? Like, Stupid. No. But we can sit here and lie to women and be like, you're, you're a bad fat bitch like no you are not a bad fat bitch you got a bad diet and you need to go oh my god exercise <laughs> no cap here oh hey, hey, hey. I, I won't lie when, I disagree when, but when I first met opinion. Fresh the girls that he's a fuck with to now it's a huge difference <laughs> <laughs> listen Chris if you want to comment on me yeah. brother make sure you ask my permission bro I don't know what you right now nigga listen I'm bigging you up nigga I'm, I'm your nigga listen, you said big listen man Chris alright nigga I love you bro no homo alright nigga peanut butter peanut butter peanut butter yeah. <laughs> who's next who's next I think it was your turn right yeah your yeah. turn I'm stuck on this BBW shit I ain't gonna lie I disagree though what's your question remember how we said earlier uh, women can't accept the truth and you said I can't no you can't I, right now. I, I right now. no, I respect the truth, but it's like I know. I don't agree God, with it. No, no, no. The reason why is because I know guys that even have like BBW fetishes. So that's the reason but it's why. A small and niche they got guys. money. That's so, not local. You're not thinking global. You're bro, thinking local. Think about this. Okay, if, you're right. If a guy could choose right to be either with a good looking chick or a chick that's overweight, who's he gonna choose? He gonna get get the chick that eat dick, and that's the BBW. But in public, who's he gonna want, want to be with? All right. right, I guess a smaller chick. That's right. what he's just saying. Uh, okay, all right. You gotta think global. For Somebody real. Said everybody's entitled all right, to their own. All right, Dude. all right, Yo, Myra, bruh. you losing hair back there, bro. Yeah. This is tough. This I is had like, a barber for you, Myra. This is tough, man. I like Nick Almighty. <laughs> This is tough, bro. The mariachi. You know what? I'm just gonna sit here, guys. We're gonna do a full podcast. I'm gonna tell y'all why you should accept broke guys that live with their parents. I don't. Yo, no, you should accept them. I don't. You should. They're good dudes. They're good at video games. They'll fucking treat you like a queen. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're not gonna cause you issues. They'll stay home. They'll, They'll stay home. Sure that you're fat. They'll be loyal. Yeah, They'll, They'll be pass you a bag of chips. Do they cook? They ain't gonna step. No, you should accept them though. No. Who are so? Yo, I know <laughs> magic that they gamers though. <laughs> I know magics that they gamers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real talk. Can I ask my question? They're not that bad. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> you only couldn't even tolerate 30 seconds. <laughs> Imagine two and a half hours. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Ask your question. Sure. All right. I don't know what my question is. It was actually between two. So um, would you ladies invite another woman in your bedroom if you were a main? No. no. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, it's yeah. my bed. Why? Fuck that. The I'll answer and out. why. Why or why not? Why not? Like another chick to I the bed. Hear her because you're you're the one no? that. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's, get a nice it's, hotel. It's actually, a, it's actually. I'm gonna ask a, a question and no, 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 not no, let no, them no, talk. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Actually, no, 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 because <laughs> that's just for the ladies. But um, I have a question for the men as well. You guys, Myron and Fresh. Okay, let the ladies wait, wait, answer wait, wait, first. Wait, okay, please, please answer the first God, question. I feel, I feel it's like the same merch. question. One at a time. I feel like merch. that that you just said of like inviting and let's say all three parties agreed in this threesome. Get a nice ass hotel. Stop being cheap, and you're not about to take a random chick that you don't know to your personal bed where your husband and you lay Wait, down. You said random. <laughs> what? I don't care. It, it doesn't matter. Doesn't, it doesn't matter who the third matter. party is, but the first, like the person that you're doing with, is your main. Goodbye, uh -uh. girl. Mm. You better buy a bed, but it's not my mm. bed. <laughs> That's a fact. So would so you? Like, would you not? And why? I would. Just because it's a bed and if I'm inviting you to come do something with me, then it's for a reason. There's no reason why I shouldn't want you. For fun. Dirty fun. <laughs> I don't want that in my personal change life. The, change the sheets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> Change the, the setting, the background. Go to a nice ass hotel. But what's the, what's the difference? You're yo, yo, what, what the fuck? Yo, it's her opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like, yo, bro, let her say her stuff, bro. It's really it's tough to get a sentence out of her. You over here challenging her and shit. Like, bro, she asserted. <laughs> <laughs> she got the Zaza, man. What are you doing? Let her talk, bro. Damn. <laughs> All right. No, yeah. Just I'm that. about to turn into Freshina, bro. Yeah. Like, no. God damn. <laughs> Brooklyn. This is tough, man. Me? Uh, All right. 
and nah, I'm straight. I'm on some lioness thing. Like me, I, I, nah, I'm too territorial. Like if anything, if I do, I'm gonna just outshine her. Anyhow, like I'm, <laughs> too, I'm just too territorial. Wait, 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 pause, wait, wait, pause. Uh, Kim, you said uh, lioness. Lioness, yes. <laughs> so don't they share two males and there's like twenty lioness? No. No, not in my yes. world. Oh, okay. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe in, in the reality. Freaking, yeah, in reality. <laughs> but in my world, I mean, in, in Lion King, world. in Lion King, which is Disney. <laughs> no, I mean, it was like it was lots it was of Lion Nala. Lioness. It was Nala, Nala, right? and, and Simba. Of, That's it. And a bu- what? It's Simba and Nala. That was it. I didn't see no other. I didn't see no other lions in the, in the I mean, story. Didn't you see like all of the other lions in, in the back? You know, in nah, VIP you, chilling. Who, who? They didn't have no names. Exactly. Only Nala and Simba exactly. Had names. <laughs> exactly. It's like what is the matter? Okay, never mind. Exactly. Only Nala and Simba. Sorry. It was them two. All right. Vibing. I, and it, it's like if I if, if I introduce a, a girl into the story, like I said, I'm going to outshine her. Like, bitch, what are you doing here? Get How? The fuck okay, out so of why here. don't you? Bring How? Her in? So I'm I, not I going was... to bring her because I don't want to. I don't want to. You know her? exactly. I don't want her to feel bad. Damn. So <laughs> like, when I was coming to rob the place earlier, I was gonna like ask you for your number. Then you made that lioness comment, so I'm just gonna head out. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like the video, guys. Like, like the video. video. Man. Like the video. <laughs> Man. But you go, you know what I'm talking about, Myron. I gotta come back here to your mic and understand that no, I'm not gonna invite you. Apparently, he just fucks on up with some dude in a ski mask. Yeah, no, <laughs> just walking no, out no, disappointed. No, no. New York. Yeah, he was like, yo, I want a good bow with her. And next Send thing me I, the Addy, came, I came to you. Yeah, and, I, and, and now he's left. gone. And they, and they left. Yeah, and he had some Tims on too. So I don't know. Pick mask. Left. What about you? Okay, so yes, I would. I like the fact that. You're honest about it, and I'm invited. If he's not doing it with you, then he's doing it with someone else. Mm. So I'd rather know and be a part of it. Okay. Um, would I do things with a girl? I don't know. But I would watch kind of things a... with a girl. Uh, That's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Slow jams. No, I wouldn't invite nobody into my bedroom. Bam. Like, extra, no. So- Sophie? I just get my answer. Hell no. Wait. Are we going this way? That way. Okay. What about you? Uh yeah, I'm open to it. Yeah. B- before you guys go, because it's actually gonna flip mm. for Myron and Fresh. Hell no. Yeah. It's what's, the same question. What's your Hell answer? no. I know. I know. It's you... the same question. However, Bruh. why is it okay for us to invite a girl, but when it comes to having a threesome <laughs> with she a guy? Yo, Chris, end the show. Chris, end the show, bro. End the show, bro. No, Rashida. Because Why are you guys not comfortable? Nigga? <laughs> Hell no, nigga. <laughs> Come because on, bro. In the words of Myron, it's... that's not a threesome. That's a it's train. Home, right? Choo choo, motherfucker. That's a train. <laughs> oh, she's learning. Good job. <laughs> train. She's exactly. You know, that's a freaking train, job, man. Dude. And then if they dicks touch, it's going to be a sore yeah. fight. And so, I'm yeah. Fight. <laughs> Usually, yo, that's weird, bro. Guys that are up for that are usually by for that reason because they right. don't mind being. How wrong. are you willing to catch two bodies at the same time? <laughs> Wait, what? Nina <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want the double homicide. That's a, yo, I shoot up two at the same time. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> How about you? Uh, I don't really have a question for the girls, but I've been wanting to ask you guys because I've heard Myron say on a couple podcasts that uh, oh, he thinks sex is an equal exchange. Um, but I'm curious as to why that is, considering that women are obviously more um, prone to STDs because of their anatomy, as well as more uh, prone to being emotionally attached just because of, um, like you said, and you're uh, cheated on more spirituality. Well, I'm more physically, like, um, and biologically they get more emotionally attached they're more prone to stds obviously there's pregnancy there's a bunch more risk for women so why do you think it's still an equal exchange in that sense okay so when i when i use that that uh that that line what i'm basically saying is that like if you look at sex like bare bones without the emotion the human element whatever it is equal value exchange you are having sex with someone else you cannot do it without the other person participating it's essentially a handshake right but that's what it is bare bones but obviously there's a lot more attached to it but what i'm saying is that i break it down like that just so guys understand that it is a v- equal value exchange even but women always treat it as a value loaded exchange <laughs> and so in other words i need to get guys to understand that what she's giving you isn't necessarily as special as you think it is it's really an equal value exchange but women leverage it 
to a certain level. And we understand that they're going to leverage it to some degree. Mm -hmm. But my key is to get guys to understand that, yes, she's going to leverage it because that's her natural instinct, but you can't let her over leverage it to the point where you're compromising yourself. So I always bring it back to grassroots to let guys know that it is essentially a handshake on paper. But, you know, obviously we're human and everything else like that. So there's other things incorporated to it. But I don't want guys to put it on a pedestal, which is why I always say that. Hmm. And, and, and then a lot of guys are, you know, engineers, you know, involved with numbers and math or whatever. And when you break it down like that from a logical perspective, it makes them realize, wait, hold on. Shit, you're right. It is equal value exchange, which is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They just that so many guys sensationalize women. They put them on a pedestal. They overcomplicate it. And it's amazing to me because we've coached so many guys that are literally brilliant. Yeah. You know what I mean? With engineer, engineers, architects. Uh, savvy businessmen, multimillionaires, whatever Poker it is, players. guys that are extremely intelligent, but when they deal with women, they can't wrap their mind around it. So I have to bring it back to logic with them. I have to basically logic. This is in the term. I'm making this up right now. I have to logicify an illogical creature for them to understand. And that's how I break it down for guys is that sex is an equal value exchange when you look at it. So don't sit there and think, it's something special. It's equal value exchange, and that's terminology they can understand. And also, sex is reproduction, man and women. So right. it's two people to tango. So, right. I ju I just feel like for women, uh, merch. Yeah. <laughs> for, Look at you, merch. Chris, Chris Lacken over here. Right. For women, because there's a higher risk for certain things. Um, for them, mm -hmm. that that's why we put such a. A, like put it on a pedestal. You guys aren't us. wrong for, for doing that. By right. The way. Let me make mm -hmm. that very clear. I don't tell guys that women are wrong for doing that. I just tell them, understand this is the game. You're going to treat it as a value loaded exchange. Right. For the reasons that you're stating. Biological risk, STDs, you know, the risk of being looked at as a slut, etc. All these mm -hmm. things come into play, which is why women make it a value loaded exchange. But I need the guys to understand that it is in bare bones form equal value exchange. It's gotcha. just that women treat it as a value load exchange for the reasons you just expressed. So okay. we're saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It's just that, it but yeah, I'm just explaining it. Why what, what, you you're explaining why women do it. I'm saying what it really is. Okay. But I'm not okay. saying what you're doing is wrong or what, I mean, it's natural. Women have, women have to treat it as a value load exchange. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, a bunch of, if you didn't treat it as a value load exchange, we'd have a bunch of, for lack of a better term. Uh-oh, retard alert. Working, walking around. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, like women always look for the best, you know, the best of the best to procreate, you know, which right. is why there's such a, you know, importance in like looking at other girls and getting a cosign from like other girls that this guy's attractive. Oh, he has 10 bitches with him? Oh, okay. He's obviously pre-selected to some degree. Even though you say, oh, he's a player. You're still going to respect them to a, 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 as a formidable potential sexual candidate if you were to approach you you know what i'm saying you might reject right. him but you would you would understand that this guy has options thank so you for great. answering mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah yeah no i i get it from your guys's perspective why you would need to explain that in that way because women are illogical and confusing sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. um but yeah emotion but i think it is important to understand why we put it on the pedestal because there are there are men who just don't understand that and can be rude about it and it's mm -hmm. it's like we have to we have to do our options as well and balance that well and make sure that we're uh, taking care of ourselves and getting what we need out of a relationship as well. So just, even though we know that you guys just want sex and what. Yeah. But else. women over leverage it though. Yeah. True. That's where the <laughs> there frustration are women comes like that, in yes. because they over leverage mm -hmm. it. What they'll do is, Oh, I'm going to take you out on six dates when I have zero, right. you know, because, uh, because the thing is, is that guys, I always, so game for guys, understanding women, a lot of the times is understanding when this is a bad deal quickly. It's not getting girls. It's getting rid of girls that are way time wasters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's half the game in itself, ladies, is disqual is disqualifying attention whores. Mm -hmm. You guys are disqualifying men that are just trying to get sex quickly or losers. Men have to disqualify attention whores. Right. There's one issue, though. Yeah. You are far more equipped to disqualify men than we are to disqualify time wasters because right. mm -hmm. you guys can immediately look at a guy within five, ten seconds. All right, this, this nigga's weird. Sounds off. I'm right. leaving. My girlfriend called me. Bye. Leave. Guy, however, goes on the first date with you. He can't read the signs that you, he, he, you're not attracted to him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He can't read it. So he goes yeah. on three, four, five, six dates. Then he's getting pushier and pushier and pushier each date because he's like, damn, I want to get back on this investment. But it's because women are just so much more better at leveraging sex than guys detecting it that, bam, guys take L's. And then that's why so many guys get pushy because they didn't have the, the ability to detect quickly. All right, this chick didn't even want to kiss me on the first date. Fuck this bitch. I'm out. 
Yeah. A lot of guys don't want to cut their losses. They want to keep going. And when you keep going, a lot of times and not being able to figure out a girl that's just using you, then take it out. That's okay. Yeah. Do you, yeah. is it okay that's if I ask harsh. another question? Yeah, sure. go ahead, um, Velma. Sure. <laughs> Velma. Do you no. light skinned Velma they said in the chat? <laughs> right, Velma. right. Yeah, you do didn't, you think um meeting. do you think women should be more honest in those situations with men as far as like whether or not they want anything out of it? Because yeah. I feel like Yo, because, come on. Yo, because they women because they, we want to we want to but... yeah, we want to be nice, we want to be sweet, we don't want to hurt your feelings, we don't want to risk them being upset or acting out or whatever. So uh, let, let's if, if if two people were to sit at a date, re- honestly, it would be this. I'm only here, the guy, <laughs> I'm only here to have sex with you. Potentially passionately, but probably not because I think you're a slut. And I want to pull your hair and call you a dirty little whore while I do it. And I'm only going to tolerate your babble about your education, what you like to do, and your hobbies solely for the purpose of doing that. And I will endure it for three dates. Woman sits down. I don't know what I'm doing here. But I was bored and hungry, and if you're somewhat cool, maybe I'll hang out with you again. But I hope he doesn't know that I have no money in my bank account, and I just showed up here with no wallet. So he better pay for this thing, because I'm walking out this bitch. That's what would be happening. That that's what would happen if two, both people uh, were Thanks. honest on a date. But women cannot tell a guy the truth, which is, hey, uh, at least in the beginning, I have zero intention of having sex with you. I just want to, um, you know use you for your resources and time and free attention. No, she's going to string them along. Like, let's just be friends, which, you know, some guys can't read between the lines. They'd be like, okay, well, maybe I have a chance. I can get in. You know what I'm saying? When in reality, like, I find you zero sexually attractive. I don't want to have sex with you. And my only intention is to use you for your free attention. Well, if women were honest about that, then guys wouldn't be sitting there fixing your car, answering your FaceTime calls at two in the morning, (laughs) picking you up from the club when you're drunk. At, or you know, True. or listening to your sob stories from your ex boyfriend pounding you out and leaving you to to the side. Like guys wouldn't do that if you women were honest. So both parties can't afford to be honest with each other because neither party can really handle the truth. Women want to get the attention. Guys want to get the sex. Right. Bam. Well said. Bam. Okay. Super chats. Yep. And then last thoughts or no? Just uh, close it out. Super chats. Yep. Uh, thank you guys so much for the donations. By the way, for real man. Uh. We got uh, 10 bucks, YC500. Lovely how many moons do them ting. <laughs> Biddies have an orbit. orbit. What? Goddamn. Titty, titty old big Okay. Yeah, the, big entire, old titties. the entire galaxy. All yeah, right. What size are those? Because I know they're going to want to ask. Double Ds. All yeah, right. Double Ds. Make sure they stay in there, man. Yeah. Yeah. And they're real, authentic, Be- God given. Best rant ever. Make sure to clip that. I'm going to frame this on my wall. Passive bitch income by Sir Lord Myron. Got y'all, bro. Uh, 20 bucks. Ask ladies, have they ever dated a truck driver? Tell the curly haired one in brown, 12 o'clock to spin for me. Why? I don't see no, brown. brown. Green, maybe? Maya. <laughs> yeah, that's you, boo. Oh, it's actually olive green. Is, is yeah, a, yeah. Is the color, you. sir. Get your colors right. You're not cultured. <laughs> oh, color blind. You're color blind. Yeah. yeah. He probably think the sky's oh, so green. The, yeah, he's the guy that would agree with you that the sky's green, actually. <laughs> Wait, can we answer his question? No, he just wants to see Maya, Maya stand yes, up. Maya. Maya, it's up to you. Okay. okay. Yeah, she, she's, she's yeah. in shape, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 hey. oh, 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 okay. And actually, oh, hey, I'm really oh. just so you know, Maya put on a little bit more size, so she's a little bit thicker. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> With the way SJ looking tonight, might have to take another trip to Miami. Venom. Venom, all right. Uh, Pineapple, who is this guy with his hand on your backside on your OnlyFans in your archive section? Just hoping he's your ex and not oh your next. Oh my next. God, girl, they digging. Yeah, how did how y'all know this information, bro? Y'all, are y'all on her OnlyFans, bro? Right now. Right, right now. Right yes. now they look Nina good. the Pineapple, I'm running a sale for you guys, so go subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. Little Bob, shout out to SJ, an intelligent, pretty girl who always brings good vibes and humor. I like that she's chill and laid back, but still exudes confidence. All right, cool. Myron Fresh, what you guys think? Should us men start moaning during sex to improve our game? Well, um, yes, they, yes, no. yes, yes. yes. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. I want you there to There is know. a level of like, I want to say, finesse you can do to make it intensify. So let me explain. So if you're just mute the whole time, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. But at certain intervals, if you just like, I like little guys, kind of make a little like, Three times. Let us know. I don't want to tell you how to do it. Do an example right now. Fresh stutters when he moans. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but no, there's a no, no, but there's an art to it. I would say just don't overdo it. 
Yeah, but here right. and there will actually make her want to. Okay, for example, let's say for example, right? You're getting you're getting a blowjob. You're standing there. She don't know if you're if you're gonna, bitch, if you're gonna for butt example, or not. Yeah. But, so, so, so suck my but dick. if you're like groaning a little bit, she's like, oh shit, I'm go harder. But yeah, there a you go, friend. So you gotta do it smart <laughs> to make it go harder for you. Because no, over, you, but you can't overdo it. I'll just say that. Yeah, because if you overdo it, you look like yeah. a bitch. Yeah, yeah you like, look. Uh, but yeah. every moan, so we go harder. Yes. Oh. There you go. Chris doesn't moan. He just be speaking perfect English. You can hear everything <laughs> that nigga can say. Be no like, oh my god, <laughs> this fellatio is outstanding. Chris looks I like love a this. crier like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all, all of a sudden, that, that peanut butter mouth gone. All, all right, shit. Tom Chad, fifty bucks. Even Einstein dumped his wife for a hot model once he became successful. All right, uh, twenty bucks. Jeremy M. Myron looking up after that. Looking up after that Bible X statement, like fighting about to strike. Much love, NF, FNF family. I'll say this. I'd be happy with the trifecta, vanilla, chewy, caramel, pineapple, and mocha SJ. There you go. Okay. All right. Uh, 3D bad, bad way. I understand red, the competition anxiety, make them lie to the overweight girl for their own benefit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Crypto cat. Burgers are always better with fries, but the fries are no substitute for the burger. Bam. Very well said, my friend. Crypto cat. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. With that said, guys, um, yo, like the video. Did we get enough likes to make the announcement? Yeah, uh, and we gonna show it tomorrow. We got three point eight k likes. No, yeah, well, we need five k likes. One, one. And we gonna show it tomorrow. I even gave y'all a heads up too with a special guest that's from the UK for a late night show. I won't say who it is, but if you watch the show Grilling, you might have an idea. Oh, okay. and then uh, you wanna do any updates? Any uh, Patreon. Patreon.com slash FreshFit, guys. Get on there. Help Boom. us hit 1,000 uh, patrons. You know what I'm saying? Hey, guys, we really appreciate these super chats, by the way. Bro, if y'all want, bro, like, take that 5, 10 bucks and throw it in Patreon, bro, and get hit access the like to the content. Get some like, get access to game. the content, man. Uh, since Fresh's girl, a finesser, he should have her bring girls to the show since she know all the promoters <laughs> use her to her advantage capitalize on her. <laughs> well, just so you know, bro, I'm actually single. That being oh, said, really? Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> He's always been single. I don't know why everyone thinks that like that's his girlfriend. Because you guys were fucking holding hands during the whole show, so we thought like you know, bro, you gotta understand that like in this case, I was trying to to academics a point. That being said, I understand that it looks a certain way, but I was, I'm still single. Okay, cool. All right, you uh, look like you were in love cool. though. He said cool. <laughs> you could be single, but you look like you was in love though. <laughs> He, he will not speak without an attorney well, <laughs> Just so you know. Because I, I was on your side, but he don't did, say make, a, he did make a point. I've, yeah, I've got, say never been in love. Right? The fifth? Just so you know. <laughs> oh. Plead the fifth. <laughs> Plead the fifth. All right. Uh, yeah, guys. Patreon.com slash FreshFitMan. Help us hit 1,000, guys. We're almost there. We're at like uh, almost 800. Almost man. there. And uh, yeah, man. Subscribe to the Patreon. Five bucks, 10 bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's the price of a coffee, pretty much. You know, inflation is here. We talked about that with Robert Kiyosaki. Catch that, that episode, a actually. Fire interview, fact. by the way. That was a great interview. These are the tiers, guys. $5, FNF supporter. You get access to all the 2020 content. FNF loyal supporter, $10. You get access to all the, the 2020 content. And yep. one live uh, monthly live stream, $20. You get access to all the content, 20 to 2021. Yeah, we got a lot of content the best, there. Uh, Over best 300, 300 videos mm -hmm. from last year. Yep. And uh, and then, yep. And then also at the $5, uh, $50 tier, you can ask us one monthly question. We send you a video response. You get the Ginyu Force, which I just opened up. Ginyu Force. Gave you all five spots. Ugh. Right. And then uh, the Super Saiyan Limited four spots. I opened that up just now as well, right before the show. So if y'all want, guys want to get in and the, the Super Saiyan level, you get uh, a monthly Zoom call. Right. And at the 97 tier, you get a Telegram chat. And we're active in there. We talk. You know, you get a network and everything else like that. And guys you get from all over the world. A discount on the merch because, you know, if you feel like you want to save merch, merch. Uh, make sure that you guys go ahead and jump on there on the Patreon. And you get to save. And we're almost there at 1,000, guys. We're at 778. We started this month at 325. So thank you all so yeah. much. Uh, help us hit that 1,000, man. And uh, we're going to have a big Zoom call with all you guys after. Uh, and the parties yeah. should be coming up soon. So yes. show it to y'all. Yes. So stay tuned for some more. Action. A lot of stuff on there, guys. Money, fitness, girls, everything, man, is there. So um, other than that, yeah, you guys didn't like to get likes up, so I guess we can't share the story. I guess we'll wait. Uh, I'll make the announcement I've been first. Waiting. Should <laughs> I twerk so they can like the video? No. Please, <laughs> please, no. <laughs> yeah, ready? One. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <laughs> <Please. laughs> they might like my twerking, right, Fresh. Go. Don't ready? do that. No. 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 All the night in my world. Did you like painting your